And greetings, everyone. I am Resplendent Seraph. Today, I'm going to be playing East 5. And based on my... Hi, cat. Hi. <laughs> well, there goes uh, my suave intro. Kitty. Hi, kitty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Greetings. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be one of those things I intend to edit out and post and totally forget about, but that's all right. She's adorable. Uh, so yes, I, I'm going to be playing East 5. It's the game that uh, I never left Japan for the East series. <laughs> I'm losing it here already. Uh, <laughs> hey, Ghosty, how are you, man? <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> how is your Saturday <laughs> And I'm not even drunk. I can't even blame this on alcohol. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> how's your weekend going, my friend? Did you help your friend move the uh, yesterday? I, I can't even imagine what that was like helping somebody move in 170 degree heaven, 107 degree heat. So Florida is it's typically runs warm, um, and people don't usually like the humidity down here, which is understandable because humidity is not the most wonderful of things. But we never get any like really crazy temperatures. Uh, I want to say the hottest it's been here in like 20 years is like 102, which is hot, but it's not 107. <laughs> that is just that is bonkers to me. Um, and yeah, I've I've, uh, I've I know some people in Texas that are like, yeah, it was 125 or something like one summer, and I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa what? Um, so yeah, I hope you're hope you're doing uh. Hope you're doing well, my friend. It is good to see you. Uh, yes, we're going to try and get on with it as Seraph's not laughing uh, at himself here. Oh, goodness gracious. And I still haven't closed my doors, but that's okay. The cat wanted to go in there. I closed them yesterday and then Cleo was like, hey, hey, let me in. Uh, and then I forgot to close them again. Uh, but anyway, yes, we're playing East 5 Lost Kefid. So we played this one stream already. And the first time my my takeaway of that game so far is that it's okay. It's it's not terrible though. Like for a game that essentially killed a series for almost ten years, nine specifically, uh, and almost completely killed it off entirely, I was expecting a train wreck that we could make fun of. Um, but this is this is a serviceable game. I'm I'm kind of surprised that we didn't get it. Now it's not as I would say it's the weakest entry. Hello, kitty. Um, but it's still it's still okay. Um, yeah, they tried to get me again today, but I found a replacement to do it. I make it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, it got to 111. That's just bonkers. Oh, uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, so I was even like, I was kind of chiming in on that. Yes, hello. Oh, good girl. Okay. Yeah, so I keep keep Seraph company. You're such a good kitty. I've actually gotten really good at petting her with my foot. Um, so even though she's out of sight and I have my hands, she's still, she's still getting a pet from uh from my foot um she's she's awesome she's a, she's my good girl she, she she's a little shit too and she's a little chaos gremlin and an asshole but she's also my good girl uh yeah my cat's awesome uh i i talk a lot of mad shit about her but she is she is one of the best cats i've ever had if not the best one it doesn't hurt she's cool as fuck so yeah uh east five so I actually kind of like the plot so far. It isn't some sort of like, you know, earth shattering, uh, huge, big stakes type of thing. It's, Hey, Kevin is out there. It's this lost ruin from like 500 years ago and a bunch of like adventurous people. It's kind of like the record of Lotus court. Yeah. A lot of stupid adventurers keep looking for that place and get, getting themselves killed. It reminds me of this where you've got a lot of people going to, uh, you know what? It might even be pronounced Chandria. Um, but I've been saying Xandria, but you know what? It might be the, the, the sh X sound. Um, there's really no, there's no, um, mnemonic explanation for how that's supposed to be pronounced now that I think about it. So I'm just going to continue with Xandria. And if anybody knows the, how it's supposed to be pronounced, feel free to let me know in the chat section or in the comment section below. And, uh, so yeah, we go there because we are an adventurous type of person. And we are indeed looking for the lost city of Kefin. We do get hired by the local mayor of Xandria to look into these crystals. And there are a number of them. Uh, a dude named Stein had picked up the stone of light, the gem of light, rather. 
And uh, we met his daughter, his adoptive daughter. And she's curious to where he's wandered off to. He disappeared, I think, three years ago. And nobody in town knows where he is. So we're sort of looking for Stein. We're looking for these gems, one of which we had to fight this really annoying boss. We beat the boss. And then this, essentially this, his like completely incompetent band of delinquents show up. And I think it'd be, I think I'd be less irritated if they were like suave or capable, but they're these like roving band of like just jackasses <laughs> all the time. They're doing this whole villain monologue thing. I'm like, at all, grab the gem at all, grab the gem. You don't grab the gem. The stupid Ilber gang, I think it's called, uh, steals it for us instead from us instead. And so we have an idea of where they're going. They're going into this ruin and we are on their trail to, uh, to essentially get to the ruin first. Now the whole, the way this is set up is hopefully we don't fight another boss and then they steal that gem. Hopefully we can get the gem they stole from us here. We'll see if that happens. But we have met a few people. We went to this lumberjack town and we did a couple of quests for them. They now realize that we're a pretty good swordsman and everything else. And so we've also gone through some marshlands. It's interesting. It's, it's an interesting game so far. It's, uh, I'm glad I'm playing it. It's, I would say it's worth playing. It's just not as good as the other entries of the E-series. And so we're going to get to that and let's fire this up. Good old East 5, the lost city of sand. Assuming the game capture grabs it. Come on, game capture, let's grab you. Today, game capture. There it goes. You know what? Let's let's also go over here. That might be good. Did I get it? Yep. Perfect. Nice job, Sarah. Let's continue. Just gotta be careful of her feet. All right, so we're in Ramsen Gorge. Let's go check this out. And of course, we've got 90s aesthetic Super Nintendo graphics galore here. Sure, let's buy items. Heater shield. Well, we can't afford that. But I'm guessing it's going to be good. I don't know if we have scale mail either, but I'm guessing that's going to be good too. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll have to go... We'll have to go get that. Okay. So, let's see. And this map is... This map is kind of terrible. <laughs> but all right. See if I remember what we're doing here. Russ. Wow, an actual live customer. Welcome. Okay, so we cruised up here. Is there anything else to do here? All right, Rams and Waterfall. Jump up here. Whoops. That all fell in the water. Oh, I guess I'm not supposed to do that. Oh, and it takes us back here. Well, I'm glad I found that. How do I get out of here? Ah. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> oh. This is going to be some interesting platforming. Oh, wait. Okay, that's the shield. I'm guessing you can't make that jump. But if I get too injured, I could just jump into the water and escape. Oh, I didn't think I could. 
I didn't think it could hit me from there. Okay, so we could go this way, or we could go that way. We got that asshole over there. I sit still. Oh, I, 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 cool. This counts as overworld. Sweet. So I will just heal out here. Okay, those look like steps and another area. So let's go this way. Oh, this bastard. Got a ring now, finally. Let's go... How do I do this again? There we go. Here's this awkward item menu. Let's go into equipment. Okay, I'm guessing... There we go. So, what does this actually do? Increase defense by 20%. Cool. Does this cost... Hello, kitty kitty. You leave that cable alone, honey. I know. Sure, rub up against that all you want. I put a uh, my old case panel in front of all those cables so that she shouldn't be able, hmm, shouldn't be able to get to them. <laughs> Hi. Yes, rub your face up against that all you want. Hello, honey. I know I love you too. You're the weirdest cat ever. Okay, let's equip this shield ring. All right, so we finally got a ring. I feel like we're pretty late in the game to be picking up rings, but it works. Let's see what's going on up here. Cleo, I don't want to be worrying about you here. Can you leave that alone? Hi. Hi. Yeah. No, don't bite my foot. Let's see. How do I want to handle this? Um. Oh, good grief. That's looking like that's going to be a terrible jump. I don't know if I could jump on a diagonal, actually. I think to make that jump, I have to jump here. All right. So let's go across here. I think this is the way to go here. Right, so we can go up that way. Maybe. Oh, it can't go that way. All right, so we have to go up this way. Oh, this fucking thing. This is going to be a bastard. How do I use the... Okay, that's that again. Okay, here's how I charge that. There we go. Wow, that's pretty terrible. There we go. I may have leveled up my magic there. Damn it. Okay, that one's gonna be hard. That's gonna be hard. Huh, that's how we should get out of here, right? Okay, man, that's a lot more finicky than I would have liked. Yeah. Oh, we can't get to that one up there? All right, fine. Go faster. Oh. So you. No, I already got that one. It's too bad. All right, let's figure this out. I do think I want to be up that way. I just don't see how I get to it. Okay, yep, you can't jump diagonally. But if I could, that would have saved me some trouble. I'm getting the hang of this now, though. I'm guessing whatever's in that treasure chest is going to be worth it. <laughs> Welcome to platforming in the 90s. Oh. Ah, I thought I had it. Oh, 
Because nothing's more fun than tedium like this. Whoops. Almost popped right off there. Went that way. Whoa, oh, come on. I jumped and it like stopped me and then let me roll over. What's up with that? Come on, get out of my way. That's lame. I may have to find a new way to store my computer. She keeps going behind the computer and like chewing on the wires. And she didn't do that until like a week ago. And now she's doing it like every time. It's not good. Not good. I'm not sure why she's doing that. She has plenty of toys. I'm not really sure what her problem is. this fucking thing again. Hey, Freak Bud, how are you? Yeah, I don't... Right? I mean, she's awesome. I just wish she wouldn't... Oh, yeah, I did level this up. Cool. Good, I didn't... Have... Oh, I probably leveled it up again. Sweet. Yeah, she's uh, just decided she's gonna bite my computer cables. And I'm, I really don't know why she's decided to do that. Uh, that's, that's just beyond me right now. Okay, we can make this jump here, guys. Oh. Uh, I ran into the water there. It literally let me... Oh, whatever. I'll take it, though. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? Oh, and there's a cave here. Okay. And this must be the way back down. All right, cool. I think we want this cave. <laughs> Oh. There. Hopefully she's entertaining or something. It's like she could just come here. Well, that doesn't look good. There. Could just go outside and heal. Stupid hit. I shouldn't have even taken that hit. What do we got here? Whoops. I didn't want to jump here. Can I leave? Okay. Good. I can leave because I think this is going to be the boss I have to fight. Maybe? I feel like I'm going to fight a boss here. going on here? Am I... Alright, I guess I have to do something first. I feel like I would be fighting a boss there, though. It's just bizarre. Ow! Okay, so you're wizards. 
You're this game's version of a whiz robe. Got it. Fortunately, they're not too much of a, not too much of a problem there. So greetings, Freakbot. How's your, uh, how's your weekend so far? Nice, easy way back out. Come on, thank you. How much money did I just gain from that? Can I afford this heater shield? Okay. Oh, but I have money now. Okay. It did do it. So yeah, let's go with the... Let's go with the scale mail. Sell the chainmail now. Okay. okay. Well, I mean, it certainly worked for money. <laughs> Greek food sometime between the two, doing laundry right now. Ah! Hey, excellent. Yeah, I saw you were going to do uh, Devil May Cry. One of the benefits of buying the whole thing on Steam, you can stream it. <laughs> so let's record. Let's save. down. I almost played more Mech Warrior, but um, I mean, I am the type to binge video games, but I don't want to um, let this sit for too long. Um, can I get out of here? No, that's how I get out of here. Oh, little bastard. in Rams and Gorge. But I did manage to pick up a better mech last than I had last time. So I am excited about doing that. Oh, I think I have to go up that way out to get down. Yeah, I think I have to do that. Wow, that's awkward as shit. But I think this is how... No? Oh, okay. How do I get out of here? Oh, I just keep going down. I mean, it is awkward, but wasn't it? I was making it worse than it needed to be. I've got to get better about using the shield, man. No, go into the use the shield, dumbass. I thought I'd get that one first. Did it properly that time, though. Okay. Give me money. I think this is the town. Yep, this is the town of Ramzan. And I'm looking for... the ZB Ruins. Yeah, I think I do want the ZB Ruins. But it's been a while since I've been here. Mister, are you a soldier? I'll bet you beat up evil monsters and stuff, right? I do happen to do that. Because, <laughs> yeah, I think, if I remember correctly, I was supposed to go to the Ram, uh, ZV ruins, and I was like, yeah, let's explore instead. Which only left me confused when I actually started this. This is actually why I did want to play this today, because I knew if I really waited, I'd be like, uh, what was I doing again? And I would, like, totally forget. At least this way, it was somewhat still fresh in my mind. Oh, an adventure. Oh, but, oh, yep. Oh, yeah, I stopped by the library to step on ZB's history first. We did go to the library already, and we did read up on a bunch of those. We did at the end of last stream. Yep, so we don't need to do this again. Mostly, if we weren't talking to NPCs, the library would fill in the gaps. Did you need something? Uh, right, because we know, we know we need a floodgate key. We're planning to go to the ruins, but we don't have a floodgate key here. If you want to know more, you should talk to Garum. He lives north of here. He'll talk to Yurov about Zebi's fall. I'm sure he'd love a new victim. 
If anyone would have a floodgate key, it'd be him. Alright, so we're looking for... Not the special about him, been him for about 500 years, nothing but a pile of rocks. Norman's men have collected pretty much everything of value that was ever there. We got called in to help, too, and boy, was that ever a pain in the ass. Alright, so I think this is a... yep. Alright, so this is Dorman's uh, warehouse. So we could go back to Xandria and see if Dorman would let us in there. I really don't want to do that kind of backtracking at the moment. I don't think... I think we've done everything we can here. Oh. Stuff is cheaper here. I should have gone here. But all right, good to know. It wasn't that much cheaper, but we could have saved 4,000 gold by buying the scale mail here instead of there. But we will buy the heater shield here when we uh, can afford it. You can, we can buy a weapon. Yeah. I think I already have a Frieza. What's this? Oh no, we've got a Shamshir. But it doesn't tell me... Okay, fine. Alright, so strength plus... 35? My math is correct there? Uh, yeah, 35. Alright, so the Shamshir is 35. It doesn't necessarily tell you, but it's fine. Hmm, for some reason your dex goes up, though. I wonder why. But it doesn't tell you if it's better or not. Oh, wow, that's really annoying. Is the Frieza better than the weapon I've got, or do I have a better weapon? Huh. Not that that's obviously not great. That's definitely not a <laughs> that's definitely not good. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, game. That's how you can tell that this was rushed to market. It's like, doesn't even tell you whether or not the weapon's an improvement in any way, shape, or form without buying it. I'm just gonna have to buy the fucking thing to know. That sucks. Wow, and also... That doesn't render quite right. So let's go to the ZV Ruins here. This leads us to the ZV Ruins. Don't kill that spider. That was a shitty item. Uh, anything else to do up here? Why even go up here? Alright, well, that's the way I need to go. Is there anything else to do up here? I don't think so. This just pops up here. Yeah, there's nothing else to do up here. Right, down here we go. Yeah, well, here are the ruins. <laughs> I know what the story is here. Um, well, without the waterway key, I don't know how much further we're going to get. And they did say it to the north, but we went up there and I didn't see anybody that was going to give me a key. Oh, shit. Budge must be locked. Okay, so that's the door we need the key for. And we need to trip that. Seems pretty self-explanatory. And then we'll be able to get in through here. Oops. Well, I don't think this really will do me any good. Oh, really? That's a terrible spawn for a... Uh, I just want to see if there's anything worth trying to get here. 
But I think I do need to go back that way, and there must have been... Oh, come on. Thank you. Nothing there. Yeah, we can at least go down here. Let's see what's up. Really? Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then we'll be able to uh, get more once we open this whole area up. Yeah, we can't. We can't really do much here without that key. I mean, at least it told us about the key. So I guess we're heading out. stand still and recuperate all my health and I guess we're going back up the hill to talk to what's-his-face and ask about a waterway key you know what I didn't think let's go back to Ramson village actually because there might be a way to exit the village north that's cheap I literally just came into the freaking frame You're not. You're not hitting me, buddy. Uh. Ay, ay, ay. Plane. Nothing here is worth my time. Fuck you, bees. a different place we were? Ramson Plain. Near Woodcutter Village. Oh, okay. This is back the way we came. Okay, so once we're here, we need to go north. And now I'm poisoned. Whatever. Once I'm in town, it won't matter. Can I go north? Oh, here's a pub. Norman's been sending his men out into the desert ruins to find something. Whatever they're taking, it's all getting sent to Xandria. That's what I heard from the traveling merchants, anyway. I guess Dorman's hired some really strong foreign adventurer to help him out. Ah, yes, me. <laughs> if rumors are to be believed, this guy uses some really strange abilities, too. Just between you and me, I hear he has the specter of death following him. <laughs> Never get any of town customers anywhere. Free time is fine and dandy, but it starts to get lonely. Regulars, lumberjacks, and woodcutter village would come in all the time. Yep, they don't come because of monsters. ZB ruins are far to the east of town. These old ruins have a fair bit of history to them. I don't remember talking to you guys. Something kept her Rize in town not too long ago. She's even more beautiful than rumors said. Still, I have to wonder why in the world she'd be here. Alright, so Rize's here. Hey, have you heard? Looks like Dorman finally made it to the Phantom City. I guess he managed to find the way there. Of course, it could all just be a rumor, you know? Hmm. That would be interesting if Dorman has made it to the Phantom City. My father went off to the ZB ruins, and he hasn't been back for days. He's left for long stretches before, so I shouldn't be so worried, but I am. I can't help thinking that he's run afoul of some nasty beast in there. 
Can't reach the ruins unless you open the floodgates. Naturally, to do that, you need a floodgate key. Please, go in back and talk to Masara. She has another key, just like my father's. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to go in here, not... Okay, well, that's fine. I hope nothing's happened to my father in the ruins. Well, let's ask about Garum. My father Garum is always out in the ruins, often for days at a time. It's been like that ever since I was a child, for as long as I can remember. Give me a floodgate key copy. That would be great. To reach the ruins, you have to open the floodgates in the waterway. That's what this key is for. I guess you're planning to go into the ruins now. If you use this key, you can open the floodgates inside there. Take it with you. Woohoo! My father Garum said that someone was waiting at the ruins. My family holds very true to their uh, to many ancient legends. So we've waited for the red-haired traveler to show himself. He's said to hold the fates of many in his hands. My father has told me all about this and more, just as was told to him by his father, and so on. Maybe you're really the one the legends talk about. Alright, so we have our key item here that I just didn't realize was in the town. I thought when they said north, I thought they meant, like, really north. What is this? My grandpa's in the ZV ruins right now, looking for some really old stuff, I guess. Alright, so everybody's in these ZV ruins. I'm just gonna have to go there. And of course we have this cave, where something should be, but isn't. Oh wow, this river could take you past the desert all the way back to Xandria. Well, alright, so if I need to get back to Xandria quickly, that would be nice. Of course, you're not going to let me do that now. Granted, I could just backtrack all that way. I already went to the pub. Okay. So we've figured out the town of Rams in here now. I'd like to know if that sword is better than the one I've got. It's probably not, because the sword we bought was fairly expensive. It was like 20,000, if I remember correctly. So that that sword's probably not as good as what the one we've got. Don't remember what the exchange rate is on all these gems we've got, though. Um, you know what? By now, we should... We should be doing okay. Let's go... Let's go get that heater shield. Damn it. Yeah, what now? <laughs> Thought I could get to it first. I was wrong. Since we're making all this money... This place. Let's pick up that heater shield if we could afford it. I had a feeling we'd be good now. Yes, much better. Now, back to Rams and well, now back to the ZV ruins.
That's the only problem when they poison you. Let's go into town to cure from the poison. <laughs> Oh, I'm still poisoned. That didn't hear, hear me? Shit. Now I'll heal. I guess going into town doesn't heal that. That's kind of lame. Okay. You don't get... I can't just hold up my shield. I wanted to see if I just, if I hold my shield up, would it, uh, would I be able to just heal and regenerate, but no. Nope. Now you can do that, I noticed, by, um, when you're charging up for your magic, but you still have to lower the shield to actually cast a spell. Since they give you so little money anyway. Figured that would be the perfect time to uh, try to level up my magic here. Same with this goober. Uh. I hate the poison effect. It's the worst. Let's see here. When I'm getting poisoned... Damn it. Whatever. <laughs> see. Let's rejuvenate my hit points now. So yeah, it takes out, getting poisoned costs me about a third of my health bar. Not great. Although, I think I've got a couple of antidotes in there, but when I'm in the overworld area, I don't like to use those items. Generally dealing with a finite number of them. This time. Ah, come on. Alright, we used the floodgate key. What's going on? Alright. Interesting effect. <laughs> CB ruins here. Wait, what? Ah, okay. This part's flooded, but not. Ow. God, I hate that thing. Shit. Okay, I see how this is going to go now. Now, if I find... Now we can open that. Question is, what can I now do over there that I couldn't do before? Let's find out. can't do anything here I couldn't do before. But I think we will be able to at some juncture? Oh, 
What's this? Oh, okay. Well, that's gonna open that. Yeah, okay. Fine. <laughs> Down here we go. Any good yet? Alright. Fuck. Hmm. What am I missing here? Missing something. What's Seraph missing? It's like, well, I don't want to go down here, I think. Well, I would really appreciate that. Oh, that sucks. down here, we're back to that spot. Right? I've hit that. I've hit this. What am I missing? Hmm. I need to get down here. Okay. I think I see it. I need to get down there. But how? Is there a hidden door? Yep. Hidden door. Motherfucker. Wow. Wow. That's Falcom. They hid a door underneath here. Ha ha ha. They're such dicks sometimes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shit. Oh. Alright. I see now. So I have to wait for this raft to come through. Okay. Interesting. Um, was I supposed to get off there? I think I was supposed to get off there. Yeah, I think I was supposed to get off there. Oh, and it makes you get off. Oh, come on. Be fine. Yes, got into it. <laughs> I got here just in time. This time I'm just gonna hold down right and hope that it lets me off this time. Okay. Yeah, I tried to uh, just hit it at that one moment, but um, no cigar. this direction. Okay. What's happening this time? 
Oh, okay, that's how this door opens. I feel like I should have... Okay. Man. This guy's got me down to like half my health, though. Not half thrilled about that. Some of the angles are a little strange in this game. That's for sure. Let's see, how many... Got six of these. Stores 60% max HP. How about there? Let's do it. That would be nice to get to. I gotta remember this is here. And there's some more weird shit over there. And so now ZB had been a kingdom that was overrun by um, Kefin at one point. And what is this gonna do? Okay, that opens the door. Wow, and you can hit me from there. That sucks. These ruins are a little, uh, compl- Ah, uh, okay. So then... I'm gonna need to lower these. Ah, uh, yes. Now these you can get lost in. Okay, so we can go up here or those. Picking up tons of water elements here. That's good for when we find an alchemist. Same thing, if I can get over there, I'd be in great shape. I don't think I can go over there yet. Yep, we're gonna have to fight these. at all. Get your magic up. Thank you. Okay. Well. That's fantastic. What's this? What's the trick to these guys? I don't understand. What am I missing? I don't understand why I can't hit them. I can't hit them with anything. Oh, door's locked. Awesome. Door's locked with a bunch of... Okay, I hit him, but how did I hit him? Must have been the east side. Okay, that's how we do this. Ugh. Them being four of them is kind of annoying. But, whatever. Ah, I missed there. But I've got this. Yeah. Shouldn't... I feel like you shouldn't have been able to hit me from there, but whatever. Okay. Hey, Darkstar, what's going on, my friend? You have a bucket element to storm in? Hit him in the ass! I did hit him in the ass! As it turns out, hitting him in the ass is what killed him! Yep. <laughs> yep. Fortunately, did figure that out. Alright, so... This is, thank you. Let's do that. Oh, and I now have a fire element! Uh, yeah, not too bad. I have to admit, though, for a second, I was worried there. All right, so that opens. Got a closet. Shows signs it was once inhabited. All right. Interesting. Got a crap ton of water elements here. 
That's all there is here. Okay. How's your weekend going? We go in here. We unlocked that. I don't think there's anything else to do here. Go see what's up here. What's going on here? Am I doing something wrong? Okay. Not sure what's going on there, but I already unlocked that, so... Alright, well, we lowered the stakes so we could at least go through that area now. Good, these guys don't respawn. Let's head back up this way and see if we can do... Oh, no, that's just not trying to adjust. Yeah, we're playing East 5 here. <laughs> Frustrating. Uh, well, feel free to uh, hopefully hanging out with us here. We'll make things a little better here. All been there. Got you. This way. Yeah, we still can't get to that treasure chest. Why can't I get to that treasure chest? I'm going the wrong way here. Damn it. I thought when I saw the, uh... Damn it. I thought when I saw... Oh, okay. Yeah, that door relocks itself. Okay. So why... I feel like I walked a full circle around this. So that lowered. That must have to extend out that way somehow. You know what? Let's go back there. Let's go back that way. There might be a puzzle there that I just walked past. I want to rule it out really fast. Whatever, assholes. That all runs around that way. Try this again. It's possible I just have to come back for this part, but oh, so I saw these. Damn, this whole thing looks like it would move over there, and I could get to it, but I don't see what I would interact with to make it do that. I think I'm hosed here. Alright, we'll have to come back to that. We'll put a pin in that. See if I can figure it out later. That would ride up this way. Yeah, and there wasn't anywhere we can... Because this leads out. Right? all leads back to the entrance. Yeah. Yep. Nope. There's no other way in there. Okay. I have to get at it from where I was. There is no other way. I'm just gonna have to figure it out. Okay. Now that I know that, this door won't open. Okay. Great. Are these it? Okay, good. Yeah, but these do. That opened that door, and I can just go through here. I don't have to fight those idiots. You? What was I supposed to do in here? Ah, okay. Platforming. I missed that jump.
Yeah, I'm not sure how he missed that jump. Wait, weren't we just here? Yeah, we were. Oh, maybe I had to hit those though to all right, well let's let's see. Since we're here. What? Oh, okay, that opens now. Ah, okay. Well let's talk to this dude. Oh, there's Garum. <laughs> what what do you want? <laughs> yeah, let's tell him about Masara. What? You want me to go home? Is my daughter worried about me or something? I'm afraid I can't do that. I have a duty to fulfill, and that means I stay right here. Yeah, okay. What What do you want? Let's ask him about the crystals. So you're here to get the Ignis crystal, eh? <laughs> well, this guy is a weirdo. But I'm guessing he's going to be a very useful and knowledgeable weirdo. It's in the innermost chamber of the ruins. You'll find it's guarded by a truly fierce beast of fire, however. None of the adventurers who faced it before have lived to tell the tale. Still, adventurers keep coming here all on their own. Those crystals certainly must be important. It's said that they were used to seal away whatever power it was that destroyed Zebi. Fuck me? I have nothing about myself I wish to share with you. I just want to be left to my own way of life. Alright, and let's ask about Zebi. It was a small nation that was destroyed by Kefin. All that's left of it now is these old ruins. Not even the story survived. This rock pile of a this rock pile of town you see is the only thing still standing. Thanks, dude. <laughs> now we can go down this way. Oh. Thought that was gonna be bad for a second. Man, we got a ton of elements here. Um, no, you're not going to give me that. You're not going to give me that. Okay, there it goes. I was worried it wasn't going to give me that uh, opal there. All right, now we proceed down this way. So now we're on these quarters that I couldn't get to before. Oh, kill that thing. Ooh, that we'll like. Now they're finally giving us rings. Doesn't matter, we can't make... Can't make those anyway. Increase attack by 20%. Yes. I like doing damage. Oh. Lovely. Oh, okay. We're doing this now. Ah! Hey, Sarah, why don't you just, uh... Okay, I guess I can only hit it once. Oh. You know what? That flame shield I have is saving the day here. Oh, I can hit it twice. Cool. used to East games being much better controls, having much better controls than this. Every time he goes in there, there's that weird little attack. And then he goes in there eventually. Damn, 
Really? Alright. Ugh, and I didn't even get to hit him for the trouble. Why can't I hit you now? That was working before. Do I have to hit you in the head now, where I didn't before? Maybe. Maybe that's it. I might have to hit him in the head now. Yeah, I think I have to hit you in the head now, whereas before I was able to hit you in the tail. this bullshit again. As long as I'm over here. Ah. I, was j I jinxed it. Mm. How is that not hitting? It's very bizarre. But at least I could do this. I don't think I needed to, but I tried anyway. The second I just decided to play it safe. <laughs> what a waste of a potion. Okay, I like that a crystal sits here shining in fiery red. Grab the fucking thing. Thank you. <laughs> I had visions of that stupid gang showing up again. All right, so Adol obtained the Ignis crystal. Now I'm guessing these fools will show up. You're certainly no slouch, boy. The Ignis crystal is yours now. Take it with you and be on your way. This means that my mission is over. I have waited for so very long. I inherited the mission from my father and it has been passed down for generations. My task was to give the crystal to the Traveler with hair of flame. I never thought it would happen in my lifetime. And so my role has been fulfilled, it seems. Um, you literally didn't do anything. Your daughter gave me the key. That was helpful. <laughs> All that remains for me now is to return home. Oh, well. Yeah, do that. Your, your daughter's worried about you, dude. <laughs> All right. Oh, Dorman is back. Norman, I wasn't expecting you to come to Ramsen personally. I expect you're concerned about the cargo being taken to Zandria. Or perhaps a certain young redhead? Hmm. You've certainly expended a lot of time and energy on him. You should keep a tighter leash on your little dog, lest you get bitten. Interesting. I could just as easily say the same to you, my dear. For the moment, I have agreed to cooperate with you. However, once the crystals have all been gathered, who knows what happens then, right? Cooperate? I find your use of that word a bit curious. I suspect we both have similar intentions for each other, an ace in the hole. All that links us is your skill in alchemy, and my royal medallion. Oh, Rize has a royal medallion, huh? Wait, we were going to get the royal medallion, but it got stolen. I wonder, okay, did Rize, was Rize the one that stole the fucking medallion? And both of them are needed to open the way to the Phantom City. Yeah, I'm guessing so. Precisely. And the power of money to manipulate people doesn't hurt either. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Blatant here. But it's my men who are handling the cargo. And said cargo is worth the risk involved. I'm sure that in your care, it will be quite safe. Speaking of which, I trust you've completed your preparations. Just live up to your end of the deal. Wait for us in Zandra. You'll get your goods quickly enough. All right. The plot thickens. Well, it was nice of them to warp us right to Garam's house instead of making me walk that whole way back. I finally have the chance to relax in my own home. About time, too. I've been waiting for what feels like ages. You might find this strange, but legend tells of a red-haired man coming here. You don't say. Uh, when he holds the crystals, a great disaster will once again awaken. Well, then maybe I shouldn't... Get these 
crystals. I mean, just saying. I can only wonder what's to happen now. Another tale says that the nation of Zebi was wiped out by the Kefin uh, by the Kefinians. Both of these legends seem to have originated around the same time. By my estimation, that means that if something big starts up, it'll be your doing. <laughs> oh shit. After all, you do have a few crystals already. Masara, don't you have something that Stein gave you when he was adventuring? Oh, are we going to get another crystal here? This is what Stein left in my care. He asked that I give it to the one who appeared bearing the crystals. So we have Stein's note now. To aid in my search for the Phantom City, I have been researching the history of the crystals. Sorry, the text is scrolling slow. <laughs> I have to wait for it. I'll soon be heading north in hopes of finally finding the Terra Crystal. My research has shown that the crystals have been spread throughout the desert to the east. God, I'm talking like William Shatner waiting for these texts that scroll to go. If I could solve the mystery of these things, perhaps I will finally find the Phantom City. <laughs> okay, I can't do that. I can't keep that up. <laughs> Until I can uncover their significance, please leave them be. To whomever reads this, I ask that you take extreme care with these crystals. Even after 500 years, they still radiate power. Stein. <laughs> now everybody moves in. Hey, talk to me. I said that someone was waiting at the ruins. My family holds very, very true to me. Yeah, they were, all right, they were talking to me, about me there, okay. Yeah, 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 you tell them. Same shit. Do your best, young man. All right, well, I will do my best. Okay, I need you to get out of the way. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hey, Dorman. Ah, uh, Adol, I'm relieved to see you're looking well. From what I've been told, the water crystal was stolen by the Iber gang. Yeah, and it's really annoying. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no need to worry, though. It's only a matter of time before they're caught. I'll handle this matter personally. By the way, Adol, I have some information for you. Three years ago, Stein decided to go north to look for the crystals he had yet to find. No one knows if he actually found them there. Sadly, that's when he went missing himself. That's why I'd like you to focus your search to the north for now. I suspect the road ahead will only grow more treacherous. But if it leads us to the crystals that have yet to be found, well, that is the best outcome we could hope for, is it not? I hope you see this through to the end with me. As always, do your best, my young friend. Alright, so now maybe if we head up... Oh, where are you? The forest is still full of monsters. But for some reason, most of the attacks have stopped. Hey, Nade, how are you? And congratulations, my friend! If I were drinking, I would give you a toast right now. So that's always very exciting. Uh, but for some reason, most of the attacks have stopped. Yeah, I'm actually not playing Mech Warrior today. I decided to take a quick break from that to, uh, to get some ESA on here. I actually just got a pretty cool mech in Mech Warrior 2, uh, or Mech Warrior 5 as well. Actually, let's talk to this uh, dude. Maybe since Dorman is here, he'll let me in. Although I'm guessing not. Being used in some ritual? Oops, I really shouldn't go around repeating everything I hear, should I? Oh, well. <laughs> but I still can't get in here. I took a peek in there and there's nothing left. Alright, well. So that was not good. Rize already took all that shit to Xandria for God only knows what. I'm not supposed to talk to the soldier with red hair. Everyone says he's a really bad man. <laughs> nice. Oh, good grief. I was just popping in to see who's around. Gonna try and get further in East 1 myself. Nice. I mean, you've already beat Count Dushkula, so you're in, you're in great shape for East One. Eh. You've already beaten the boss that I personally hate the most. I considered uh, the Bat Monster the worst of that entire game. Nothing's... Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. Thank you. Die. Who did that not hit you? Thank you. Yeah, I like East One, and the remake is is pretty nice. Hey, Tavari, how are you? Greetings. We're playing uh, 
we're playing in a game that uh, never actually made it to North America. This is the... Oh, it's not... Oh, yes, we still got it. This is East 5, a game that never actually made it to North America. This is actually a fan translation. Oh, I got poisoned. That's super lame. Let's see. Do I have an antidote? Do I have an antidote? The big question. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Just came back from the water park. Nice. I mean, summer is the time to hit the water park. Oh, well, thank you, Nade, for the lurk. I appreciate it. Let's see. Do I have... Oh, I don't have... I don't have any antidotes. I should pick some up. Yeah, whoops. Yeah, yeah. Let's head up. <laughs> Let's head up and get an antidote. Before I, uh... Before I die here. Well, I'm not gonna die from this. This is a great time of year to head up the water park. Uh, it's actually been a while since I've gone. And that I could actually still do. So without getting into too much story, I'm not actually allowed to ever ride roller coasters again. <laughs> so I can't do, I can't do roller, oh, cool, the antidote, wore, uh, the poison wore off. Um, but stuff like the water park would be perfectly fine to do. Let's go up here, let's save. Yes, let's record our adventure, for sure. And unlike some other fan translations, I actually think whoever did this fan translation did a really, really, really nice job. There are only a little kind of details. Uh, so, <laughs> basically, all right, so TLDR, at the end of last year, Seraph's neck kind of exploded. <laughs> some people blow out their knees or a shoulder. I somehow blew up my neck sleeping. I just woke up with some um, neck spasms. And next thing I know, it's uh, I'm, I've got the doctor telling me, yeah, you need surgery, bud. So uh, I actually have a couple of artificial discs in my uh, in my neck, in uh, in the spine portion of my neck. So between cervical five and six, and uh, four and five, uh, the disc discs are artificial. So I'm sort of like a cyber seraph. <laughs> yeah, right. So uh, yeah, so but, but they did tell me I made a full recovery and I'm allowed to do all of the things except they said, well. We don't have to worry about it because you're not a fighter pilot. You wouldn't be allowed to do that either. But don't ride roller coasters ever again. There's something about the jostling back and forth. And I made sure to do that with my entire body, not to just do that with my neck. But yeah, all those forces. Uh, yeah, Seraph's now cyberpunk enhanced. That's right. Uh, so it, the experience sucked. The recovery is amazing. I am so glad I made a full recovery. Yeah, last year I couldn't use my right arm. It was It was bad. Uh, I'd be okay with that. I hate carnival rides. Right? <laughs> so I actually sort of, I think I'll miss, I think I'm going to miss some of the roller coaster rides. I was never a fan of the ones that went upside down. But other than that, I did like them. I thought it was really fun. Um, so up by us down in South Florida, there was a, a roller coaster. It was at Boomers. And it was one of the like more famous ones in the area. It was so much fun. Um, so yeah, I'm going to miss that a little bit, but that's all right. Flo and I did the loop ride. A trap door opens under you and you do an actual loop. That, that sounds terrifying. <laughs> oh my God. That sounds terrifying. Although was it fun? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that would be fun for me. It is. <laughs> well, so I'm going to have to enjoy it vicariously through others. But other than that, yeah, I'm, so I'm good. Um, but oh, hi kitty kitty. Hello, Cleo. Hi, my cat changed us. Hello, kitty kitty. Hi, hello, Cleo. My co-host has decided to join us. It's fun though, for real. Very scary. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. And I used to love like the Tower of Terror rides. Those were really fun too. Um, but yeah, not not doing those anytime soon. Yes. Oh my god, I love that emoji, Rob. <laughs> Kitty. Hey, Cleo, come up and say hi to everybody. Come up and say hi. Hi. No, you're gonna. Ow. Thank you. I, I'm already petting you. Why are you biting me while I'm petting you? <laughs> you little shit. Here, Cleo, come here. Let's let's do a let's go to just chatting here. Let's grab let's grab my cat while I be, while I take a quick while I, while I try to not get bitten by my cat. Here, hold on a second. <laughs> Welcome everybody to my absolutely enormous kitty. Here, you want some of my water? You want to drink my water? You always like to drink my water. Hello, kitty. Hi, cat. Hello, cat. I love you. <laughs> Here's my feline roommate and co-host. Oh, nope, and she's leaving. Okay, she didn't want to hang out after all. Okay, fine. 
I thought she wanted a pet, but she's just, yep, cat. <laughs> okay, you gonna hang out there? All right, you're just gonna hang out by my feet? Yeah, you're gonna keep me company? Mm-hmm, you're gonna keep me company? You good girl? Yes, you are. You're my best kitty. She really is an awesome cat. She does like to cause chaos. She's also my chaos gremlin. But uh, yeah, so sometimes, so I've, I've mostly cat-proofed my desk. Lately, like in the last week, she's decided that she likes to chew wires, which she had like, yeah, she's a behind the scenes cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, a lot of times she will hang out on the, ta on the table with me. Okay, let's move without. Very careful of your pawsies. Okay, good. I don't want to run over your paw. Okay. Yep, she's going to lay down there. Good girl. I love you too. Yes, I do. <laughs> she's sitting on my foot. Yeah, she's a behind the scenes cat. <laughs> she is a character, but she catches and kills everything. And living in the Australia of the United States, uh, South Florida, boy, do we have a bunch of like flora and fauna that's scary and terrifying. She catches venomous snakes, spiders, bees, wasps. You name it, she gets it. She prefers to take an EP role. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Uh, but no, no, seriously, thank goodness for this cat because I don't want to deal with any of that stuff. And she, yeah, right? <laughs> oh my God, I was lurking uh, Maxi's stream. Well, no, I wasn't lurking. I was chatting that day. And all of a sudden I'm going to be like, BRB, I've got bees trying to get into my house. What I didn't realize is that Cleo had uh, caught this poor honeybee that had somehow managed to sneak into my bedroom and she had torn its wings off but she hadn't killed it. So, and and Kara is used to being around bees a lot, so he was able to explain what was what was going on. And uh, I guess it had released all of its help me pheromones. Exactly, right? Poor bee. Like, Cleo could have at least just killed the bee and put it out of its misery. But instead, uh, so instead she was using it as a toy. I don't realize this, though. All I know is all of a sudden, I hear what sounds like a motorcycle. And uh, I'm like, what is going on? with them are they racing and then i'm like wait that's not a motorcycle and i walk closer to the window and i realize it's a bee trying to get in and then it's joined by another and another and the next thing i know there are like five or ten bees all swarming around my bedroom window trying to get in and i'm like what the f is this hence my my sound alert of no not the bees because it ties into also seraph is afraid of bees so i'm just sitting there like this is like my worst nightmare coming true. And I have no idea that one of their friends is now mortally wounded on the floor underneath that windowsill by her cat tree. I just don't see it. <laughs> right? Oh my God. It's like one of the things that goes on. So yeah, uh, Cleo's toy, Cleo's new toy had called for help. And of course his friends showed up and, uh, and I don't understand why they're trying to get in. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was awful. <laughs> It was awful. I eventually, like a week later, like at some point the bees stop coming and they fly off. And uh, I told Alex this, or uh, I told somebody else this. And he was like, uh, yeah, you probably, had, are you sure you didn't have a bee in your house? And I was like, no, not that I know of. And uh, next thing I know, a couple of days later, like a week later, uh, after that incident, I'm uh, scooping her litter box. And lo and behold, I see behind the cat tree, one little bee corpse, wingless. And I'm like, son of a... B, <laughs> no pun intended. And so, yeah, that's that's how that got. That's that's how this whole thing kind of unraveled here. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's buy antidotes. Let's buy a couple of these. Uh, because I need antidotes. So I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get poison up the yin yang out there. Clearly. Uh, you know what? I might buy a couple of heal potions. Yeah, let's buy a couple of these. That works. <laughs> Don't pun totally intended. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it might have been totally intended. All right, so we can go hue and we can make more flex stone here. Okay. Um. Wait. Why can I? Oh, I can make all of these. It's just color coded to it. Okay. So let's say invokes flame rush magic. Let's see. I don't think we have this one. Invokes heat sand magic, invokes heat wind magic. Flame rush, heat wind magic. Wow, we, that one requires a bunch. Let's do this one. Let's make that one. 
I mean, I don't have any idea how this works. So also one of the things about East 5, it has this very peculiar, uh, for lack of a better word, magic system where it's really based on alchemy. So these elements that we pick up, we can then ha bring these to alchemists and they fuse them into flux stones that we can attach to our sword and essentially use magic from it. So it all depends on this. Evokes flame rush magic and evokes freezing magic. Yeah, let's do that just in case. We have enough water elements, let's do it. Perfect. All right. Well, that's it for that. Uh, can I exit? Can I exit? Nope, I can't exit. Why can't I exit? Okay, there it goes. Always happy to help. All right. Now let's save now that we've made a few. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this. <laughs> I can hear you purring all the way up here, even with my headphones on, cat. Hi. I love you, too. <laughs> You gonna get up? What you want? Oh, you want me to open the window for you? You want me to open the window? You want to look outside? It's bright outside. No, you don't want to open the window. You're just wandering around. You're just wandering. My chaos cat. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, okay, let's go back into this menu. Let's try... Let's try going back into here. Wait, where is this? Man, this, I, this, this menu is awkward. Um, okay. So... Do that and let's try this sure oh hello kitty what's up cat what you want now i just fed you so i know you don't want food just need more pets just need more pets i always have pets for you i love you, I love you too chunk master 3000 she might have a little bit of weight to her <laughs> ow not even the devs remember quest 60 oh my god Quest 64, yes. Ow! Oh, now it's running, so I get... Stop biting me, cat. Ugh. Good grief. Yeah, not even the devs remember Quest 64. God damn. So I actually bought that game somewhere. Whoever got my Nintendo 64 collection uh, does have a copy of Quest 64. That actually might be Freakbot. What are we doing, cat? You're just... Okay, you're clearly just up to no good. <laughs> Are you just looking to raise hell now? Huh? Are you bored? Are you bored, kitty? Whoops, don't, don't fall in the water. Don't fall in the water, Seraph. Let's go this way. And, uh, oh, now try not to get poisoned again. So now we go this way. Now maybe we can go into this cave and a boss will actually be here. Got it that time. <laughs> oh, cat, don't change. <laughs> oh, I fell in the water again. Okay. Only rented it once. I still want those. F yeah, I wish I had only rented it. I bought that game. I am I am not. I was not a smart adolescent. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that game was garbage. Garbage. I mean, I, I don't even know what the thought process was other than, hey, we need a Nintendo 64 RPG really fast. But, um, yeah, that, that was that was an absolutely awful game. Nintendo, oh, come on, Seraph. I'm trying to actually, and you know what's funny, Rob? I'm trying to remember Nint uh, Quest 64 now. I remember playing it. I never beat it. I eventually got to a point of like, I got, I really did get to a point. I'm like, yeah, you know what? F this game. <laughs> I'm over it. Nope. I don't know. out of there pretty fast. Okay, let's see. Got it that time. But yeah, this is, this is an interesting game. <laughs> I'm actually really looking forward to getting to E6 though. I really enjoy E6. The games after this get really freaking good. So for the sake of being completionist, we're going to, we're gonna get through this. It ruined my first, uh, my first, good, ruined my first good name. <laughs> uh, try and jump. Okay, here we go, Seraph. Try and try and make this jump. 
I'm not going to fall in the rapids. Where's my cat? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello. <laughs> she had her mouse over by the uh, door, but I didn't see her. So I'm like, eh. I imagine. God damn it, Seraph. I imagine I'm going to be the same with a kid. Like, you know, you don't hear them. And it's like, all of a sudden it's like, wait, why is that so quiet? <laughs> what what kind of trouble are they getting into? And she wasn't getting into trouble at all. having a lot of trouble with this platforming this time. Probably because I'm being distracted by my adorable, massive cat. Hi. Hi. And now she's poking me in the side. <laughs> I love when she stands up just to, just to tap me. <laughs> Quiet. You know, you could hop up on the table and get to hang out with me. Hi. You could. You could. You could. She's acting like she wants something, but I just fed her, so I it can't be food. I literally just fed her. Um, well, no, actually, I fed her before stream. It's been an hour and a half. You know what? She could be asking for food. She could be hungry. She's laying down. Okay. And if she if she gets it back up again, I'll feed her again. She does like to eat a lot, so it, it could be that. Could be that. I don't think so, but but it could be. I actually thought we just got started, but we've actually been, uh, we've actually been on for a little while here. Ow, it bolted me back. Damn. <sighs> yeah, I'm not really thrilled with this, uh, fall in the water, get pulled downstream mechanic. Especially since we made it up so early the first time. I wish the boss had just shown up so we could have fought it. Oh well. you. Yeah, I'm not bothering with that gem. You could stay there. Um, Alright, we got this. Okay. Actually, let's see what our magic does. If not, we'll have to switch back to our fireball. Let's see what this spell does. Whoa, that was expensive. That took all of our MP. But it's gone. So that's nice. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Ah. That stupid jump. It sucks that we made the jump the f like that first time and now we have to do this all over again because we did it out of sequence. Like even if that boss had been hard, I would have been very okay with being um just having to fight something a little tougher than we should have. Just so that we didn't have to do this again. Come on. There we go. Let's see. We got this. We got this. We got this. Oh, I thought I was going to slip off and I would have had no one to blame but myself. <laughs> I would have had no one to blame but myself for that one. 
I actually did really make a mistake there. It just so happens that uh, we didn't fall off. Shit. Okay. I don't have any magic. You know, I think we'll be okay. Oh, damn it. All right, so if I just go fast enough, I could just avoid it. My problem was I was trying to be cute. I thought I could just block it and then slash it, but I couldn't. Lesson learned. God, I feel like uh, Sal and chained together here. Make a mistake, have to do it all over again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I thought he was going to knock me off. <laughs> I was going to be like... There were definitely going to be some expletives in a second. God, Quest 64. What was the... Does anybody remember what the plot even was? No. Why did I do that? On the one hand, I'm getting a lot better at it. Of course, I say that and then immediately freaking hesitate. Although, I think I know what happened there. But it was a little frustrating to jump and then stop mid-jump and then just fall in. But I think if you're not aligned just right, you're going to hit an invisible wall. I think that's what I did there. spots on this that become very difficult. At all. Yep, that's what was going on there. I gotta just not be so high up. Fucker. <laughs> It sucks. It sucks so much. <laughs> oh my god. Is this really happening right now? <laughs> oh my goodness. Fine Daddy. Oh god, it was one of those games? Is that really the plot? Wow. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. I mean, to be fair, that game is incredibly forgettable. Damn it! I thought I could just run past it. Ugh. That thing is such in such an annoying place. All right. Fine. Fine. Let's go back to this. We'll do that. We'll go back to this and we'll just fireball it. Of course, we're still going to have that annoying jump, but... Get up there. Okay, time to charge up our magic. That's not what I
you. Well, at least we're leveling up our magic levels. Okay, we got this, chat. We got this. No, we don't. Damn it. <laughs> Damn that jump. So you have to almost be walking off that platform when we do that jump. All right, I'm tired of this part of the game. Let's let's get through this now, can we? Never mind, when people were saying this was the worst of the series, this is probably the section they were talking about. It does get up here from, it does go uphill from here though. Come on, get up there. You. All right, about here. Wow, I didn't gain a level for the first time in like forever. Okay, I am so tired of this jump. Okay, got it that time. We actually walked a little into the water on that one. Weird, all right. Oh, it's all right, we finally got into this cave. Oof. Thank God. And as far as the music score, like the music's okay, but this is not, this is not an E soundtrack to me. This is, um, like this is not a great soundtrack. It's like, okay. But I'm used to East music. Hi, cat being like amazing all right oh here we go let's see what's going on here huh you're back okay I've been waiting for you no you haven't I was here first dude I was here first stoker I'm the one that's been waiting for you <laughs> as you can see this is where the earth crystal Terra has been kept it would appear that it has been taken to Saravan's cabin. You know what? I was here looking for that. Whatever. I don't know what Saravat's cabin is, but I guess you're going to tell me. I would guess he uses it to test the skills of the adventurers who come to him. I'd also like to see just how strong you really are. You should be able to reach him easily enough. Take heed, however. Go charging in, and you won't make it back alive. Go ahead and see him. I was about to say, like, if you dare. Like, wait, wait, that's, that's wrong. Wrong. <laughs> That's not quite right. Uh, he shall speak again later. All right. Well, let's go take a look. Ah, quest for crystals in an RPG, right? Picking up a lot of money. Bastard. Ah, we've reached this jungle we've heard about up here. Alright, well, we didn't have to fight a boss, so that was nice, I guess. I really expected to fight a boss. Wait, can we go that way? Oh, we can go this way. Hmm, wonder which way we're supposed to go here. I mean, it's nice that they're dropping a lot of apples. Take that spider. I may not have Cleo in this game, but... Yeah, it still managed to get me. After those spiders do that weird web thing, they do like to charge. Damn it. Yeah, sure. Do that life drain. Uh, for all the good it's gonna do you. Let's see, what else is going on up here? Pretty sure 
straight forward so far. Gotta love the new areas. You alright there, cat? <laughs> you having fun, baby girl? Yeah, you having fun? Alright, okay, so it goes through here. Ah. Huh. We'll take that. Ah, here's how we get up here. I think I'm supposed to be up here. I think she does actually want more food. Now, <laughs> she's just sitting there looking at me. <laughs> with that, with that ears pinned a little backwards look. I'm like, okay. She's, she's clearly a little, a little perturbed at me now. <laughs> let me, let me feed my adorable feline friend and uh, I'll be right back in a minute or two. Hello, kitty, kitty. I know, I know. All right. I know it took me a minute. I'm sorry. You were hungry, huh? Yeah, you hungry?
<laughs> okay. But back in game. Thank you, everybody. Sorry about that. My needy cat. <laughs> yeah, Rob. Uh, Rob and I play uh, D and D IRL together, and he he could tell you my uh, my cat certainly uh, is a, a little more needy than your average cat. Another reason why sometimes I give her the euphemism. Oh, oh, uh, allow me to get that for you, your highness. Okay. This. Okay, we came from that direction. I guess we're going, I guess we're going in this direction. Oh, I want that. Can I get that? How do I get that? messed up somewhere. I'd have to go around that way probably to get it. Do I do that? Do I work her around back to try to get that? Why don't I try that? <laughs> Technically, that's true. <clears throat> That is true. Yeah, I gotta blame whoever named her uh, Cleopatra. <laughs> okay, so here's this area. I need to get up there, I guess, and around. That's gonna be the key here. I'm shocked we haven't made her an NPC. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, I can't jump up here. Oh, crap. All right, so I'm going to have to go work my way back around. So... Maybe I should have just kept going. Well, this jungle area is kind of annoying, isn't it? Now I can hop up. Let's see. Back up here. Yeah, it's funny. I got her from uh, a rescue organization, and uh, I guess they're used to people wanting kittens. And so they uh, start asking me, you know, like, what what kind of cat do you want? And I'm like, I just need a cat that's good with other cats, because at the time I was getting a cat for my cat. Which I know sounds stupid as hell, but <laughs> that was that was, that was was my life, meow. <laughs> oh, good grief, Seraph. There you go. And, uh... <laughs> This is what I need to get on top of. Ah. Damn. You know, I think I have completely screwed this up. Because, yeah, that's the way... Now we're getting way too far away from where that treasure chest was. We're getting way too... F we're just getting way too off track here. It'd be nice to be able to get to that, but... Ah, okay, it's a cave. Okay, so I gotta keep my eye out for a cave somewhere. That's what we're looking for. Somewhere there's gonna be a cave, and we're gonna be able to get into that. Okay, we'll keep our eye out for that. Oh, that was the spot. Fortunately, it turned its back to me anyway. Why? I don't know. Oh, look at that. Oops. Okay, well, that was a lot easier. Ow! Okay, that's cheap. Come on, man. I'm so tired of this thing. Thank you. Oh, we got a magic ring. Okay. I don't know what a magic ring does, but... Uh, probably boosts my magic, but I rarely use magic, so I think we're okay with it. 
Oh, I jumped down. That shouldn't be able to hit me. That's bullshit. Although those look valuable. Let's just regenerate our health while Seraph takes a drink of water or er, soda. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised we haven't made her an NPC either. Now, um, I'm trying to remember where it was, but we did have a rule where if the, uh, if the cat hit the die and it rolled a new number, uh, that was the number that counted. And so, uh, oh my goodness, that just caused chaos. We were always like, here, Mr. Tittles, come here. Don't you want to play with the die? And the DM was like, really, you assholes? <laughs> Ah, well, we reached Seravat's hut, so we're in the right place. Unless Master Seravat has given you permission, I can't let you pass. Well, he's gonna give me permission. By the way, have you been keeping up your adventures journal? Yes, let's record our adventure. Let's get permission. There we are. Seravat, at all. I've been waiting for you. Well, you already know my name, so that's already a plus. Oh, ho, ho, I suppose you're wondering how I know your name. <laughs> you must be looking for the Crystal of Earth, Terra. No doubt hired in a, uh, in, uh, in Xandria by Dorman to come all this way. The Terra Crystal. May yet... Him. May yet be yours. You know what, though? For a fan, tra for a fan translation, this is really good. Other than nitpicky stuff like this, where somebody just missed it, this is surprisingly good. I've seen fan translations. Hell, Rob can attest to this. <laughs> there are there are not many fan translations that are this good. Some are absolute train wrecks. So I, I really can't. I, I actually have to give the credit to whoever translated this. This is this is this is good. Uh, but only if you are truly strong. If you can defeat the beast that await that waits beyond, then it is yours to take. I look forward to seeing just how powerful you truly are. But first, you should rest. Stay here for the night, and you can go in the morning. <laughs> yep, you get what you pay for. That is true. Adol was finally able to rest and recover from his long journey. And this was like before the gigantic emo phase. And you know what? This may have been around when that... Because Legato was around this time, too, and he had that kind of hair. No, Legato was a couple of years later. Damn it. There's no end to these fiends. Stoker! I'll be fine. You see to the crystal. Forresta. Of course, we were already in that room. The crystal shall not be yours. Forest and no, you mustn't use magic here. Oh, okay. And that's why we're not allowed to use magic when we fight these bosses in those areas. That's why she encased in ice. She did it to herself. Whoops. Okay. So that's what happened to her. Huh. Forrester. Forrester. Now, mind you, that was like 500 years ago. <clears throat> so I still don't know what the deal is with this dude. There you are. Long ago, I also studied here. Master Saravat was the one who taught me. Okay, maybe Stoker and Forrester weren't there 500 years ago. I was under the impression that those dude, that this dude was ancient or some sort of ghost or something. But if Saravat was the one who taught you... Okay, I must have misunderstood something there. No, I, okay. I, I am, I did understand all that. I have lived for almost 600 years. Does that mean Saravat's lived for almost seven? I mean, that dude looks old. <laughs> Forrest has sealed herself in a cocoon of ice to protect the Lumen Crystal. All because my own power has never been strong enough. Freeing her is now my only concern. If you study here for a while, you will grow more powerful. I would have you do so, and solve the riddle of the Phantom City. 
Morning has broken. We shall meet again. Good morning, Adol. So you're finally going. I'm impressed with all you've done here. The last of the crystals, that of Earth, awaits you. By the way, have you been keeping up with your adventures journal? Let's, let's record, because we don't need to do that cutscene again. Let's go check this out. Well, what in the fresh hell is this? Well, let's just go down for now. <laughs> Near the river. I can't do anything here. I'm guessing at some point we'll have a boat or something that will connect some of these towns. That'll be some semblance of fast travel. That would be nice. Damn. Alright, let's heal. I thought I could make that jump. I cannot. Damn, these things do a lot of damage to you, too. Fortunately, they look fairly easy to dodge, for the most part. Oh, well, I'll take a gold coin, sure. Oh, I thought I could jump over it. Can't, apparently, you can't jump over it. You just have to avoid it entirely. Can I jump up here? Maybe over here. Okay. Enough. Let's regenerate health. And then we got more wasps. Because of course there are wasps. Why wouldn't there be wasps? <laughs> Motherfucker. No. Thought I could have. Oh, come on. Fine. It's just trying to avoid them entirely. No avoiding those things. Oh, come on. Oh, it's fine. Something's written here. Try to go any further, and you likely won't come back, Saravat. Oh. Okay. Dude. What's going on here? Let's go this way instead. I really am tired of these wasps. Let's go this way instead. We... We came from this direction. Oh, okay. I just had to wait for it to fade, I guess. What the fuck is that? Okay, well that's annoying. Mm. Can you guys... I don't know. We can sit still here and regenerate some health. Let's do that. Yeah, it was a little weird that that barrier didn't just fade automatically. We had to wait for it. It's almost like we had to scroll it off the screen and then come back. That was a little confusing. There definitely have been a couple of cases where it wasn't really clear what you were supposed to do, but for the most part, we figured it out pretty quickly. And it'd be one thing if they were actually puzzles, but they're not really puzzles. I think there are... It's just part of the game where they didn't really make stuff as clear as they really thought it would be. Oh, fuck. Oh, that is. Ow. Mm. 
so you have to kill this guy before... Yep. That's what we had to do. Oh, okay. Now we just fight a boss. supposed to damage you. And remember, we're not allowed to use magic in here. So... What's going on? Why can't I do damage? What am I supposed to do? I don't understand. Let's, um... Let's leave and reheal and see what the story is. What am I missing? As far as I know, you're not allowed to use magic on bosses because there's something with the... Kind of like what happened with uh, Foresta there. I don't, I don't think we're allowed to do that to any of the bosses. Right? Can't charge? Yeah, it won't even let you. Okay. So it's it's not like it's a magic thing. Do I just have to wait for an opening? Is that what's going on here? Do I have to hit your hands? Is that what's going on here? I think I have to hit your hands. Damn it. What is going on here? I wouldn't mind if I knew what I was supposed to do. Look at that, we can hit it. Okay, so there's there's a window where we're supposed to hit it, and I don't know what that is. I was good about dodging all that. Ah, uh, where is the window? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's reheal. And now that I have an idea, there is a, some sort of opening where you're supposed to damage it. I'll figure it out. Fortunately, we can go in there, sort of test things, try it out, leave, heal, and then just go back. And it's not costing me consumables or anything. I'm able to just learn without dying. <laughs> And having to go through all that to find this thing again. So that's actually kind of nice. Damn. What is the window? Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's when that opens those for those. Wow, that's... Are you kidding right now? Or do I have to... This is annoying. Yep, you're doing this. Come on, open up. There it is. Oh, but I missed it. Do 
this. not doing the attack we need him to do. I think he at least does it, f and he doesn't do it first either. It's almost always that weird attack first. I wonder if I have to be a certain distance away from him in order to start it. This is looking like an annoying boss, but not hard per se. Seraph just has to figure it out. But yeah, it looks like when he does those weird little, like, I don't know, disco, <laughs> the disco balls or the, the spinning earth chakrams, it looks like when uh, the vent opens to leash those, that's the weak part where you'd have to hit this guy. So that doesn't seem too complicated, but he doesn't seem to want to do it very often. And it doesn't do a whole lot of damage initially. He's doing that first. Okay, so it is just totally random. Oh, come on! Oh, that's cheap! Really? I jump? It still hits me? Oh, that was bad luck. I was just guessing there. No, yeah, not the right one. Come on, I missed that. Oh, if I jump, I can hit him. Okay. Maybe that's what I was doing before, and it's just I didn't realize I had... Okay. So let's heal. Okay, so it looks like I just have to jump and heal. All right, so it wasn't that at all. So I just gotta time my attacks. Just, just, it looks, this looks like it's just gonna be a hit and run type of deal. <laughs> it's actually easier than I thought. Amazing what happens when you actually do it right. Maybe I'm making it more difficult on myself than it needed to be. Okay, this is going to be the first of the real runs, I think. As opposed to just me fucking around trying to figure it out. Hit twice. just be stuck taking damage every time I attack him. But you know what? Fuck it. We bought enough of these. Brute force this. Oh, damn it. I don't know if that was the strategy you were supposed to do there, but it worked. Okay. So we got ourselves the Earth Crystal. <laughs> yes, you are strong indeed. Well, I had a healing potion too, that helped. So now you have three of the six crystals. They are what sealed away the evil power of Kefin. 
Since the lumen crystal has been moved, that seal has been weakened. This is why the desert in the east has spread, and why the beasts have multiplied. That explains why they've had so much trouble as of late. When Stein removed the lumen crystal, then, then it was off. Alright, Rob, have a good one. I'll see you a little later. As Kefit's power grows, the more damage is done. At this point, putting the crystals back where they were will avail us nothing. If there is any way to prevent this catastrophe, I suspect it can only lie within the heart of Kefin itself. Three crystals still remain. Unfortunately, Dorman already possesses two of them. No doubt he plans to awaken Kefin from its slumber. When you find the next one, you'll need to somehow get the last two from Dorman. Then perhaps you will have the power to save us all from wretched fate. I love how he just drops... Oh, by the way, the guy you've been working for uh, is probably up to no good. <laughs> I mean, in that sense, it's good that we had that um, that cutscene to help uh, elaborate on that. But it's like, dude, like, really? No, that, that, that guy's been bankrolling me, man. Uh, so anyway, for now, the only way to get back to town is to travel by raft down the river. I'll let you have the raft, so follow me. Ah, uh, now we've got our raft. Wait, just a moment. I doubt I could teach you much. You strike me as too much of a free spirit. Off you go, then. Ah, yes, that's right. I recall I saw you with Stoker earlier. I suspect you have taken him, uh, taken on some troublesome burden for him. I would advise you to sever what ties you have to him. He'll bring you only grief. Okay. That is the best advice I could give you, at all the red. This is the first game where anybody's ever told me I'm uh, at all the red. After this, at all the red is totally his moniker. So it's Saravat who kind of gives him that name. That's actually kind of neat. All right, the town of Felt. Where am I going? <laughs> oh my goodness, that animation. <laughs> well, it's not an East game unless Adol's washing up on shore. <laughs> my goodness. Hey, come on. Are you okay? Please wake up. Adol washed ashore in the town of Felt, where a goat came to his aid. He awoke soon after. Oh good, you're looking much better. I have to ask, how'd you wind up unconscious on the beach? Al explained he had been struck by a sandstorm while riding downriver. I see. Well, you're lucky to be alive then. Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't even asked you your name. Adol gave his name. Adol? It's a nice name. I like it. My name is Effie. I live, uh, here with my father, Mujaba. He's out checking on the current state of the desert at the moment. There have been a lot of monster attacks in the desert lately, so I worry. But he's more con uh, concerned with the safety of the town, so he always makes his rounds. We don't have much to offer here in Felt, but at all, but feel free to stay a while. And really, you still should get some more rest, too. I think it's Felty. We're gonna pronounce it Felty. Here. Looks more like a chemistry station than a uh, kitchen. Interesting layout. Ooh, you have books. Oh, we've got a uh, alchemist. I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't know enough elements. Nope, can't interact with the books here. But we try. Just in case there's a potion or an elixir somewhere. Nope, no time to relax. There's adventuring to do. But what if Adol was colorblind? How fucked would it be to have everyone refer to a moniker of something you could never see? Wouldn't that be wild? <laughs> All right, so, okay, so I could go up there on that roof. I should probably do that. It wasn't so long ago that this town was green and vibrant. It was much nicer back then. Nowadays, it's become a splendid desert town. With people like you always breaking into the ruins, you probably have been cursed. Oh, 
called the private house. I'm gonna go play over at Effie's house more. She makes the best cookies I ever had. Her dad kind of scares me though, a little. Uh, I'm so busy, if only I had a kid like Effie. <laughs> wow, saying that in earshot of your kid. Mother of the year here. Let's go in this other private residence. Hey buddy, what are you up to? I just don't know what to do. My kid hasn't lifted a finger to help since that incident in town. Hey, listen to this. You can tell how super popular Effie is, right? Well, old man Mujaba has a lot of rumors floating around around him. He's been gathering all the merchants around here together. I think he set up some, some kind of scheme to get rich or something. Huh? What do you mean? You're helping him? You gotta be kidding. Why would he need help at a time like this? Mom tells me I should go and play next door. That's a laugh. Personally, there's plenty more I want to find out. I don't have time for goofing off with little kids. Uh, you are a little kid. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find out anything else. What can I say? I like guys with an appetite for danger. All right, well, I'll keep that in mind. I will take the wind element. That is why I'm a curious and I explore. Ah, there we go. Let's head back this way. I don't want to head out of town yet. I want to at least see what's going on in here. Oh, that's Mujaba's house. All right, we've already been in there. <laughs> we woke up there. So there's a pub. Here's an item shop. Yes. Yes, I think so. <laughs> We have uh, a very nice number of emeralds. <laughs> very nice. Right, but yeah, so let's take our profit. We already have our huge shit. Oh, no, you don't have anything newer that we could want. All right, never mind. I'll take the money, but I'm surprised we don't have any better stuff. I mean, unless that freeze is better. I don't think it is, but we've got enough money. I could at least buy it and find out. Fine. I don't think it is. I think we're going to waste. I think I just wasted my money, but just in case it's better. Yeah, it's way, way worse. So yeah, I just wasted money there. But at least now I know. I figured it was too cheap for it to be worth it. It had to be. I already have antidotes, how many do I have? God forbid it would tell you how many it has. Just in case I need to use magic. Cloak to shield from the heat of the desert. Yeah, that sounds... Fully recurs MP. Well, I've got one of those. Holder upon death. Whoa. Oh, but I just... Well, I couldn't have afforded it anyway. But yeah, we're going to get that life drop. We'll come back to you. Desert is a dangerous place. Be careful out there. Oh, why would do that? Desert. The wind and heat out there are incredible, and it can make quick work of you. The only thing that'll get you through all those winds is a surge eye. Unfortunately, the only one in Felty who has one would be Mujaba. All right, so we gotta find Mujaba. Is the old man in that room all right? He seems so tired, but I'm not sure if I should take a look. Let's take a look. Ooh, it's tough crossing the desert. My legs aren't what they once were. By the way, have you heard? The skeletons out in the desert can only be killed with light-based magic. Lovely. If you're planning on going out there, be on your guard. All right, so I'm going to need to do that. The town may be covered in sand, but guests are always welcome here. Now let's record my adventure. I don't think I made any 
any light uh, spells. That's good to know. All right, is Mujava in the pub? She's such a sweet girl. It's almost hard to believe a girl that pretty is actually Mujava's child. Jeez, dude. Nothing at all like Trico, if you've noticed. Why can't it be as cute as Effie is on me? That's rough. Can't talk to the patrons? Okay. Guess we gotta leave them alone. Now, I heard this from Mujaba, so I may be wrong, but across the desert is an oasis, and the ruins of Kefin are in the middle of it. One of the crystals is supposed to be in there. Alright, so we're gonna have to go into Kefin to get the last crystal, I guess. be able to get into that door. No. Nope. Okay. No way to get up there. Okay. I thought I missed it. Yes, it is, and I just was over in the inside. Oh, it is on the inside. Boom. Good, I need a light element. I'm gonna need that. Hey, buddy. I saw that Mujava fellow in the desert a while ago. I was pretty beat up, but he gave me some medicine. He looks pretty intimidating, you know? I never realized he was such a kind man. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Okay, so he is in the desert. We're gonna need to find him. Typical. Really, there's nothing up here? Went through all that trouble to get up here and there's nothing up here? Really? Oh, so lame! Whatever. Fine. Got a light in one, though. That we needed. Alright, so if we don't find a light... If we can't craft a uh, flux stone with this light element thing that we've got. Oh, so lame. No, well, thank you. <laughs> there we are, Darkstar. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, where was that? Where was that alchemist? Was it over here? This is the private house. Maybe it's Mujava's house where the alchemist is. Yep, here's our alchemist friend. Should only have one option. Sand magic, heat brush, sandstorm, volcano, thunderstorm magic. Okay, well, I can't... <laughs> Thunderburn? Invokes volcano magic, that sounds awesome. Fire, fire, light. Doesn't look like I can make something that's truly a light attack, though. So I'll keep these for now. So I don't think you can undo a flux stone once you've made it. Right? Yeah, they just let you make these. They don't let you undo it. So you kind of have to choose wisely, right? Yep, I can't undo it. Yeah, we can un we've got four stones. Sexto, Wera, Kigna, and Antria. Granted that Antria is uh, pretty crazy, but at the same time... Hmm... And I don't know why they give you three options. I can't seem to figure out how to do the other two that are on there. The only way I've ever figured out how to do it is just put them in the one roll and then activate it. It's such a weird... What it tells me is that I'm just not going to be killing any skeletons in this desert.
But in the meantime... Let's equip... I could, uh, I could equip right, right now. Alright, so I, I did pick up the desert thing. Do I need to equip it? I guess I don't need to equip it. I guess just having it is good enough. Okay, so there's the town. The river. Well, we've saved, so... But let's save again. Before we leave. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, I'm just losing health. Awesome. Maybe I have to actually use it? No. It doesn't work this way. Did I not buy it? That dude was selling a desert cloak. I did buy it, right? Okay, yeah, good. Well, at least it doesn't let me. Okay, so you do take damage. Can't do it here. It's not a ring. It's not a weapon. How do I equip this cloak that I bought? I, unless I'm... Unless I do, and, or, or unless it has a different purpose. Am I losing my mind here? items. I see all of these items. Oh, look at that. Uh, wait. I am so confused. But now I'm not taking any of that damage anymore. How did I even do that? Okay, so I guess if I go over there and I... Okay. No, it said Steinkot. Okay, so this must be... We equip this. That's Andrea. Alright, well as long as that's there, I guess we're okay. Okay, now that's weird, man. Can I still use my map? Alright, so here's the map. Alright, so we're in the desert. That's where Keffin is. Okay. Alrighty then. No, well, we can't kill those, so no point in bothering. They'll just crumble into dust and they'll just rise back up. That's clearly how that works. I can't jump past him either. Oh, and that'll just blown away. Cool. That's that's super awesome. Great. I went the wrong way, I guess. Hey, help me. Okay, good. Hopefully this is Mujava. Oh, it's a little cooler now. Yes, I'm saved! Are you the one who helped me? Thank you! 
My name is Mujava. Perfect. I live with my daughter in Felty, not far from here. I must repay you for your assistance. Please, come to my house. And I'm afraid I won't take no for an answer. After all, you saved my life. Well, your daughter sort of saved mine from, you know, drowning in a few feet of water. So, it's all copacetic. Welcome home, father. Oh, Adol was with you? Why? What happened? <laughs> well, what? You know each other? Adol saved my life out there in the desert. So I insisted that he had to come here so that he could thank him properly. But I have to ask, Effie, how do you know Adol already? Don't tell me you two have... No, 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 Caffy. Not right under my nose. Oh my god. Really, guys? <laughs> Are you listening to yourself? He'd collapsed on the riverbank, so I brought him back here to help him. Oh, uh, okay. Well, all right. So you helped him, and he returned the favor by helping me. Makes sense. That I can handle. Really, dude? Still, I suppose that would make us all friends, after a fashion. If there's ever anything I could do for you, just say the word. But just so you know, you're not taking my little girl from me. Please, dude. Your girl is probably older than I am as of this game, bro. What, the Sergi? You want to go into the Oasis? What do you need there? Adol explained to Mujaba that he was trying to collect the crystals. You don't say. Let me guess. Norman put you up to this, didn't he? Let me just say, I'd be wary of him if I were you. It's true. They say that Nox, the Dark Crystal, is in the Oasis. You know, I do... I do a good bit of walking through the desert in my line of work, but reaching the Oasis is no mean feat. Well, if you need to get there, you need to get there. You seem like the sword will never give up on a task, no matter how hard it gets. All right. I'll let you have it. The Surge Eye. I mean, you can use it to see your in the desert winds. My goodness, Jujaba. Adol obtained the Surge Eye. Well, that was cringy, but yeah. Feel free to give me this, you know, item that's going to let me uh, finish the game. It's not like I saved your life or anything, bro. Save the game. Maybe now we can actually get through here. Do I need to equip the Surge Eye? That would be annoying. Can't jump up that way. All right, well, let's try going down first. Let's try going a different way. Fucking skeletons. I think we just went this way this time. Since we can't fight them, there's no reason to even interact with these things. Is it just me or does this look all the same? This literally looks the exact same to me. Yep, I'm going I'm going in circles down here. I wonder if I have to equip this Surge Eye thing. But then I would take damage from the desert, right? That's how this works? Yeah, it's okay. So we okay, so we're just getting lost in the desert. Awesome. Problem is, if I s shows gaps within sandstorms. We do have to equip that. The problem is we take damage. So this is annoying, and I still don't really see where we're supposed to go. But interesting. Like, why give me a cloak that could protect me against the sand if I... 
giant skeletons. So last time we had a uh, an area like this, there was some sort of clue. Oh, and now Addo's blown away again. Nice. Okay, cool. Alright, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? I wait, will I heal? No, I'm not gonna heal. Right, if I go to the inn and save, will it heal? Probably will. I think the inns, for the most part, replenish your health. Sure. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here. They gave me the Surge Eye, and I'm using it. Right. But I have to go in here. A mirror that shows gaps within sandstorms. We still got blown away. Strange looking bracelet given to you by Stoker. I mean, do I have to equip this? I think I do. Yeah, because now it looks different, but now we're taking damage. This leads us up here where we saved Mujaba. And this is where the sandstorm blows us away. So there's a rock. Oh, okay. Well, we got blown away again. Awesome. I see it. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. That was, um, that was different. So yeah, you had to be <laughs> a literal, there was like a literal path through the sandstorm. Wow. Wow. Hey, that works. We're in Keffen now. All right, so this is the remains of Keffen. Getting some, uh, full metal. Well, look at what we have here. That's a, uh, Goddess of East symbol right up there. Let's see what we got here. It looks like a tablet I should be able to read. But I can't read it. Can't get to that. I wonder how I get to that. Oh, I didn't even know you can go this way. Merchant camp. Interesting. Oh, let's go and check this out. I didn't even know I could go this way. Hey, buddy. What do you want to buy something? Uh, yeah. Oh, I got no items to trade, but what do you got? Oh, we got some Salsetta medicine. That's not bad. I still don't think I'm going to buy it, but... Yeah, I can't afford it. We're good. I will try to be careful. Yeah, I'm getting major uh, Xerxes vibes from, like, Full Metal Alchemist here. <laughs> Major Xerxes vibes. All right, well, let's see what the ruins actually have to offer. We got a door down here. What the fuck? Bold the Kobold. There are lots of scary monsters underground. Kobo the Kobold. The gate leading to Kefin is just outside this building. All right, so we got Kobolds in here, huh? Kobold the Kobold. This is where the dark crystal that was used to seal Kefin away was put. Alright. Come 
monsters. We've got an interesting picture here. All right, well, we'll take more elements. Interesting. All right. And we got some kobolds. Not a very common, very common for D&D. What just happened? Oh, shit. I literally found a hole. Oh. I just really found a hole. Well, that sucked. That'll teach me to not pay attention. All right, so if I fall down even more... What the fuck is that? Well, I could just speed run this and just... Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't have speed run... Maybe I shouldn't have run all the way down here. Oh, that's a door. Probably gets that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I can get over there. No, I can't get over there. Okay, so I need to fall more in the middle over here. If I can. Ruins. Well, these are interesting ruins. <laughs> I did not expect to uh, fall down like multiple levels there. Why can't I... Got a very peculiar. Oh. Enough. All right, so I need to fall and then exit out of that area. Okay, but I could fall down. Yep, and I'm back at the entrance, right? Yep, I'm back at the entrance. Okay. Well, these are very interesting ruins. fall down that way. I think that's the way I fell before. Not this way. Let's find out where that leads. I could use this to fall down that one if I needed to. And that would probably make me fall and plummet down even further. Let's not do that. Let's go see what's up here. Anyway, I might need to do that anyway. Ow! Thought I'd get to it first. Hmm. Damn. Fuck it. Now, okay. That's where it is. Down, back down all the way at the bottom. Oh, 
all the way up. No, 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 no. Ah, I wanted to go over there again. Jeez, I barely interacted with that door. And I mean barely. I barely interacted with that door. Alright, so once you're on the other side here, we pretty much we can go up here. We can start going down the stairs. There might not even be any advantage to going over that door over that way, but the next time I do that, I do want to see what's up with that. Here, up here, fall down here. I've done this right. No. Looks like I didn't do this right. I needed to go up. Ah. Uh. Where is Seraph going? <laughs> that is the question. So now I'm back in the same. Uh, I feel like I should be able to hit that when I do that. At least get this, whatever it is. Well, we got the timer ring. Next time we go all the way up, I'll just have to go outside and get my health back. Just hoping to avoid it entirely. But yeah, there doesn't seem to be any effective way of dodging that. I guess I don't need to. I leveled up. <laughs> Still likes to nick me. Let's try this left stairwell. Ah, oh, perfect. Found it. Found what I was looking for. Oh, well. Hey, it doesn't look... annoying. Oh, damn it. I got greedy. <laughs> Since we don't have the option of learning how it works, I think I've figured it out for the most part. I didn't even need to use a heal potion once I figured it out. Damn. We'll take the level. Yay, Dark Crystal! <laughs> the Nox Crystal, as it were.
Well, the Lost City of Keffin seems to be a little, uh, I don't know, overrated. <laughs> well, this place does look evil as fuck, doesn't it? I'm thinking these, uh, Keffinians weren't really nice people. Went down that way. What, we, what happens if we go down this way? Is there anything else? Yeah. We already got this. Ah, uh, we could just jump off. And then I'd be... Right, I could... Okay, you know what? That's actually the way up. We go down here, and then up. You guys can go fuck yourselves. Mm. There's nothing over here. Nothing, nothing over here. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing over here. Doesn't matter. I almost fell in that pit trap. Oh my god. That would have been super lame. You guys say anything different? No. Nope. You guys say the same shit. People to come back. Yeah, this people of Keffin aren't aren't coming back. <laughs> they are gone. Alright, so head out of this desert oasis. Oh, um this point. Who gives a shit if I get blown away? I don't care. If I get blown away, I'm going right back. Yep, that's perfect for me. Because it's going to blow me right back to town. Thank you. I want to go back to town. So you got the Nox Crystal, did you? Fine work there, adventurer. I suppose that means you'll be taking it back to Dorman then, right? I don't think you'll have such an easy time getting it to him, honestly. Take this with you. There aren't any, uh, tunnel snakes down there. <laughs> but what my friends have told me, Dorman's ordered his men to occupy Xandria. What? Hold on, what? Yeah, I did read that right. My friends have told me Dorman's ordered his men to occupy Xandria. Oh my god. From what I hear, the place is jam-packed with his so-called soldiers. Okay, he's launched a coup in Xandria. Why? I guess we'll find out. Effie and I will be praying for your safety. Be careful out there. Okay, then. That's... This is happening, apparently. <laughs> hey, can I get... Now? How do I get back to Xandri now? I... Is there a different way to go? That I'm not aware of? There a door that was locked before that I don't remember. He gave me a tunnel key, so it must be a door that I'm not familiar with. Had that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know you told me this whole thing before. I just want you to let me out now. Oh my god. Fine. Beat it, kid. Thank you. Looking for a tunnel. Where's this tunnel? Alright, Freakbot, we'll see you when you get back. Hopefully by then I'll figure out where the hell I'm going. We go out this way. Well, that just happened. Okay. Give me money. Okay. 
I guess there's going to be... Ah, this thing is super annoying. Really, dude? Really? So those enemies are particularly annoying. Can I get up here? Can't get up there. Can get up here. Give me money. And XP. Hmm. Wonder what happened. Okay, now let's just avoid that entirely. If I sit still out here. Yep, I do regain health up here because I'm outside. That is perfect. Yeah, I think I'm better off just using magic on uh, those things and not even getting anywhere near them. That is probably my best bet. find out if Seraph is right. You heal from magic. That's awesome. Thanks. Never mind. So yeah, these things are terrible. So far, so good. What? No, we living hell. Okay. Felty Wilderness. All right. North Felty Wilderness. East Merchant Camp. West Zandria Plain, huh? All right. Well, let's head this way. Let's see what you have to offer. You guys have better shit to offer? That would be nice. Yeah, so let's record my adventure. That works for me. Let's find out what's going on in It's tent. Can we buy something? Yes. Well, we certainly have money now. I don't know if that's better than what I've got or not. Well, let's do it. Okay, so our dex goes down by two, but our defense goes up by a lot. So yeah, let's go with the metal shield. Yeah, the heater shield was really good against the fire thing. Yeah, plate armor is indeed better, so let's go with it. Perfect. All right. And if we wanted to, we could make more alchemy. I don't really know what the difference is between any of these at this point. And because our decisions seem to be permanent, um, what I'd probably want to do is save, make them, try them out, load the save, and you know, kind of just experiment with some of them. And then once I've made a decision, You know, at that point, save, or uh, load, and then actually make the ones I want, and then save again. Like that freezing thing that affects the whole screen looks awesome, but it's expensive. Like when you do it, you run out of MP. I don't, I don't know at the moment. Well, you guys I can't kill, I don't think. Oh, actually, no, I think those guys are the normal. Hey, bro. Ah, now the the bridge is fixed. Welcome back. It's good to see you're okay. I met some merchants who were on their way back from Felty. I've been here ever since. They said that Zandria is one heck of a big mess right now. 
Norman's trying some real heavy-duty alchemy to try to bring back the Phantom City. The place is crawling with soldiers now. Nana told me she had a bad feeling about the whole thing. That's why I decided to let Miss Misea know. But with you here, bro, I know we'll be okay. I bet I'm gonna need your help with this one anyway. Okay, come on, let's go see Miss Messiah. Alright, let's go do it. How fucked is this place? And Messia, if, uh, for anybody who doesn't remember, she's the first alchemist that we ran into. <coughs> well, that was different. I knew that you were collecting these crystals. I had suspected that Dorman was looking for the Phantom City as well. With the crystals in your possession, it looks like all of them are accounted for. If it's all right with you, I would like to accompany you to Xandria. Does that mean that the, the thieves that took, that took one of the crystals? We didn't run into them since. Does that mean that they were working for Dorman? Like, I feel like the game skipped something somewhere. But I'm getting the feeling that the gang must have either sold it to Dorman or they were working for him or something. Anyway. If it's all right with you, I would like to accompany you to Zadria. Several of the books in my home contain tales of the Phantom City. It's said that any wish can come true in that place. But there are also many tales of catastrophe to go with the fantasies. I wonder why a city of gold would be sealed away and renamed the Phantom City. I would like to learn more about it. Hey man, I would love to keep going with you, but I think that I'll just be in the way if I go any further. Yes, Willie, you would be. Much as I hate it, I think I'm just going to wait in the village for a while. That is a good decision on your part. Stay safe. Make sure you go and look in on Nienna. I know she'd like to see you. Alright man, you'll just have to carry on in my place for a while. Yeah, we'll see Nienna. She's sort of who kickstarted this entire quest to begin with. Not much longer now, we should get prepared. I'm sure you must realize the significance of the Phantom City's revival, no? That girl Adol rescued in the Crystal Cave. Nienna, wasn't it? I believe she's living at Stein's house, isn't she? Perhaps she might be willing to help us out. Oh, villain scheming. <laughs> All right. Dorman drifting further and further into full villainy here. Nienna. Nienna. Oh, did they just warp us to Sandria here? Looks like they did. Yep, they did. It's a letter from Dorman to Adol. To Adol, I suspect you also know the secret of the Phantom City. I've taken Nienna for the time being, but don't worry. Bring me the crystals, and she will be returned unharmed. Dorman. Damn him. I can't believe he's involved Nienna as well. It seems the direct approach is out, but I wonder if there's some other way. Hmm. Well, at this point, now we can, we could probably, oh shit. Oh, ho, 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 man. South Figaro vibes is strong with this one. Get in? Nope, can't get in. Yep, I'm in occupied Xandria now. So we're back at the original screen. Yeah, the boat we came in on is still here. I wasn't much a fan of uh, all these guards anyway, but still. All these doors are locked. Let's see what happens if we go back up this way again. Anything to get? Nope. Nope. Okay. There's nothing here. Let's head back this way. Alright. 
So, we know that there is a secret entrance into Dormans. Well, we know there's the alternate. Ah. Keep doing that with this guy. Keep letting him hit me that way. Oh, shit. Oh, bastard. Uh-uh. Homie, don't play that. <laughs> Norman's estate is up. Can I not jump past these? Damn, I still can't jump past these. Fuck. Mm. Wish I could get past these. Well, Norman's house is here. Am I not supposed to go in there? I mean, Norman wants the uh, crystals. He's not going to let me in. <laughs> We're not supposed to go into Dorman's house yet. Someone's bound to be... Oh, that's bullshit. I got to you first. Whatever. out. Okay, I can't leave the city. I was kind of hoping to leave to save. Or at least heal up. But at least the Xandria Inn is here. Yeah, let's record the adventure. Figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do here. I have a good day under martial law. <laughs> like, really, guys? What about you? Soldiers have come. No, not me. You're, you're fine. Okay. You're fine. I am not a soldier. You are fine. Nobody else is here. And yeah, we already got that. What am I missing? Saw something now? Connected to the tunnels as well. And yeah, Dorman's Mansion probably is connected to the tunnels. Thanks for stopping by. I always appreciate your business, so stop by anytime. Okay, good. Okay, let's make some money. Oh, good. I've got as many heal potions as I can carry. Right? Oh, that's fine. Hey, do you sell anything? No, you're not gonna let me in? Oh, oh yeah. I think the town's guardsmen are keeping watch on us. Uh, you think? <laughs> so, loophole. That's right. The tunnels go all over under this town. I believe one of the entrances is in this inn, too. Okay, good. So I just have to find a tunnel entrance in this inn. That is helpful. Hmm. I don't know if that's here. It's probably on the first floor somewhere. So let's find this tunnel. Oh, look at that. There it is. Look, that looks like a tunnel entrance. Oh, no, it's just a Oh, look at this. That's right. We did come down here and we were like, what's up with this? That's right. Now we have the tunnel key. Oh, this is just under Xandria. Sweet. Hate monsters like that. Oh, we got some Salsetta medicine. <laughs> Once again, a nice little call back to East 4. So if I go up, do I recover my health? Is that how this works? That'd be nice if that's how that worked. Nope. But if I go up to save my game, does that heal? Does that heal? Not that I really need it at this point. I'm just trying to figure out how, how it works. I'm sure the instruction manual that came with this game would explain it, but you know, we obviously don't have an instruction manual. That didn't save it either. That sucks. Damn it. Hmm. 
Mm. Oh well. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I don't think I can hit these. Oh, I can't hit these. Sweet. Oh, I'm really hating these things. That's not a something I can interact with. No? Not something I can interact with? We've got captives. Come on, bro, you can do it. These fucking morons. Of course they're in here. It's no use, mama. I swear, you're built like a house and you're still weak. Out of the way, I'll show you how it's done. I hope we can just leave them in there. Ark, we quit Dorman in this wall. I've had enough. Although if Dorman employed you. Mom, are you okay? Just break through a fucking stone wall. That was amazing. That's our mom for you. If you don't stop wasting your breath, I'm just going to leave you there. Damn it, Dorman, you son of a bitch. When I'm done with you, you'll need crutches. And damn, <laughs> damn fan translations not coming with instruction manuals. <laughs> I know where he's going to. There's a small island just out in the open seas. All right, settle up, kids. Let's go give Dorman a beating he'll never forget. Thank you for telling me where he's going. That is convenient. Is there anything in here? No? No? Okay, so we're gonna have to jump this. Lovely. Oh man, my favorite. We gotta jump that way, right? Yep, perfect. So let's go down this way first. No, there's nothing out here, huh? Damn, it looked like there would be something out there. Had to try. <laughs> Had to try. Right, back out in Xandria, huh? Now we're in the mansion. Okay, so now, let's still go up this way. But yeah, these barrels are still here. Damn, that's so annoying. The barrels are still there. All right, fine. We've gotten into Dorman's mansion now. don't have a health bar, so this is a safe area. Thankfully, we know the layout of his mansion pretty well. We explored the shit out of it first in the first time. Still nothing to interact with. There. All right, we came in through that door. There's so much to this mansion. Norman's office was up this way. This is where we met with him, in here. Hmm. Figured this would be the place we'd need to go. But I guess not. Where are we supposed to be going? So we went that way. Back in 
this area. There we go. Hmm. I've been waiting for you at all. I had all the faith in the world that you'd come. Did you really believe I was collecting the crystals to help the people of Zandria? <laughs> That's right. I led you on a merry little chase, just as I did with Stein. Now, Rize, I'll leave the rest to you. Do be a good hostess and show Ad all the way to my island. As you wish. You heard the man. Come with me. And don't try to be a hero. I think you know what'll happen to the hostage if you do. I am button mashing the shit out of things trying to get out of this, by the way. <laughs> but no, it doesn't let you. <laughs> but I tried. All the crystals were taken. Of course they were. It's not like I worked hard to get those. Come on, no time for standing around. Get a move on. Please wait. Please take me with you. Okay, so Messiah asking these uh, fucking gang of hooligans to take her with him. You know what we're you know we're the Iber gang, Brotherhood of Thieves, right? Fun time's over. Now we're playing for keeps. My name's Messia. We need your help to foil Dorman's plot. I swear I won't slow you down, I beg of you. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. I don't know who you are, but you know what? Fine, fuck it. Come with us. You claim you want to stop Dorman too, eh? Seems that's what the Adol fellow is after too. If that's the case, you can come with us. It just keeps getting better and better. Get a move on, now! None have ever borne witness to this ceremony before. It was established to commemorate an incredible discovery. Fortune smiles upon you, for you have to... Uh, sm yeah, fortune smiles upon you. For you to have arrived on this important day. This is where Ventus, the wind crystal, has been placed. When I found this island, I had this facility built for experiments in alchemy. I've used relics of the art unearthed from your various ruins. Oh, you stupid motherfucker. Thanks to you, at all, I have all of the crystals. Now everything is ready. All that remains is to use this device and open the way to the Phantom City. No, you mustn't! What? Who are you? Dorman, do you even realize what restoring the Phantom City will mean? Please, you must shut this device down at once! Ah, uh, I get it. If you know so much about alchemy, then you can only be Messea. Surely then you understand. To achieve my goals, I need the ancient power of alchemy within the Phantom City. Please, do not try to stop me. Dorman! 
Yeah, you were too late. What's the meaning of this? You all right, Adol? Still an easy mark, I see. The crystal we gave to Dorman is a fake, see? Haha, <laughs> I've got the real one right here. Yeah, but now it can react because it's in the room. Damn you, how dare you make a fool of me? <laughs> I don't need the crystal to give me strength. My own alchemy is more than enough to send all of you straight to hell. This doesn't look good. I hate to admit it, but I think we should scram. We'll leave this to you, Adol. Save our skins now, and we'll call it even. Um, you're the ones that owe me. You're the ones that owe me. Whatever. Adol. Adol, you better make it through this okay. Well... Well, this doesn't look good. Ow, 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 ow. Get me out of that. Not fun to get um, stun locked there. Go to items. That's what I've got. As many healing potions as I can get. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try not to. Ow. Ow! Oh, come on! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the stun locking mechanic. That's annoying. Sucks that it could stun lock you. Oof. That's ugly. worth it to attack those. Ow. Stop stunlocking me for the fucking love of God. It doesn't even seem like it's all that hard, but... random. It's also annoying when, uh, to get close enough to hit them, you have to take damage. Seems to be a lot of that in this game. Yeah, now you reform the stupid heads. Better off just ignoring the heads. Oh. Stop changing direction at all. What? That's bullshit. 
Sure, just do damage to me. I'm not even here yet. Oh, fuck now. Shame the place to save was so long ago, too. So I can't even, like, just say, eh, fuck it, I'll just die. Stop that. Jump to hit it. Nope, I just have to endure this, apparently. Magic would work on this guy. Actually. Ow! Nope, magic doesn't work in here. You're not allowed to use magic. I don't even know why they put magic in this game. You can't use it against bosses. They don't let you. They literally don't let you. Right? I don't think so, anyway. At least I dodged one of them. An unbalanced RPG, you say? Unheard of, good sir, yeah, right? So far, I don't like this boss. Mostly annoying. Not the button I wanted. No, not the button I wanted. <laughs> Stop that. doing now? Oh, we got another form. Or it's just dead? Oh, I guess it's just dead. Sure. You or yeah. Guess I'll die. <laughs> it's random. But yeah, if they if they allowed you to save somewhat close to that, it would have just been like, eh, hey, I'll just let it kill me a couple of times to figure it out. Um, but I didn't, I really didn't want to go through all that cinematics, all those cinematics again. I've got to admit, Adol, you're a lot stronger than you look, that's for sure. Good thing for us that you're here now. But yeah, it wasn't all that difficult. Um, I finally figured out the end, to, you know, use the shield properly, but very good thing indeed. I expected better from Dorman. He allowed his power to consume him. You worked for him, Rize. You should have known better. I had believed him stronger than that. But no matter. Thanks to you, the crystals are as good as mine. Uh, yep, okay. I was just using him anyway. He served his purpose quite well, actually. Now, hand over the crystal of water. Or need I remind you who I hold captive? Yep. With the breaking of the seal of Kefin, my mission is finally complete. And the trend of East 5 continues. You succeed at beating a boss... And for the benefit on your part of nothing. I can't tell you how many times we beat a boss and either have a crystal stolen from us, or in this case, we beat the boss, but they still get the water crystal back anyway. It's like, well, why did we fight that boss? <laughs> Other than to have Rize here do it, but whatever. Dorman's out of the way. With the breaking of the seal. Oh yeah, my freaking shit. The crystals have been nothing but a thorn in our sides. It was about three years ago that the seal's strength weakened, which enabled our return. Okay, so here's some weird, mysterious motherfucker. The whole point of getting the crystals was to eliminate it once and for all. And thanks to you, Adol, Kristen, finding them was simple indeed. Enough. We have accomplished our goals. 
Kefin will be restored to its former glory. Your help in gathering the crystals has been invaluable. But as I said before, you will not be able to follow us. A royal medallion is needed to utilize the gate to Kefin, and Carrion has already taken the one from the ruins. Ah, uh, and you stole the other one. So it would appear that you are simply stuck here. Such a pity. <laughs> oh no, that was the one. Right, they were the one that stole the one from uh, Nanny's chest. Sure, just go in the gate that's blatantly open that I should theoretically just be able to walk through myself. But I'm going to let you guys walk through it and not follow you. It's cool. <laughs> Do not meddle in our affairs. This is your final warning. This is your super serious final, final, last terminus warning. <laughs> that girl is Stein's adopted... Oh, I didn't read it fast enough. So much of the text goes by so slowly in this game that when it goes fast, I'm not prepared for it. Not like it was important to the plot or anything. Alright, so secret org base. Now we gotta fight our way through, probably. Cool, cool. I do def I, I definitely have taken an opportunity to riff on this game when it when it's earned it though. Where is Nana? Oh, I let them kidnap her. I see, she was. So let's get to Kefin already then. Isn't that where she was taken? You're right, we can't just leave her. Plus if Kefin was restored, the damage it will do to the world is beyond measure. But, but why? <laughs> we have to cross over to Kefin and stop Rize before that happens. I mean, yeah, they've got alchemy, but other than that, like, who cares? Anyway, well, what are we standing around for then? Let's go shake things up in Kefin. But mom, where are we gonna get, how are we gonna get there? That Rize lady said you had that royal medallion or something. I believe there's a gate to Kefin in the desert ruins. With the seal weakened, we may be able to use it. I also have a medallion, which is just like that royal one. Really, Messia? Now you tell me? It's been passed down to my family for generations from the alchemists of Kevin. How convenient. If used properly, I'm sure it will open the way there. The desert, eh? Well, that sounds like a lot of no fun. Mom, we can finally get them back for all they've done. Now's no time for worrying. Nope, that, that doesn't, that's not good. What? We have to go, Mom. This place is going to come down. Yeah, this place is toast. We better get the hell out of here now. <laughs> we should follow. It's not safe here. All right, time to get out. Now we can. Now it'll let us leave. Uh, I'm guessing now we have to fight our way out. Is it timed? Hopefully it's not timed. Doesn't look like. Oh. Well, if it is timed, this is a mistake. Well, this is annoying. The constant screen shaking is getting real old real quick. Go this way? No. Was I on the right path before? Maybe I just have to fall down here. But how did they how did the other people get out? Hey Adol, if you don't get a move on, you're gonna get left behind.
Nope, this bridge is about to collapse. Hey, let's uh, let's stand and look around bewildered while the bridge collapses instead of, you know, just keeping going like we were a second ago. <laughs> Tara! <laughs> uh, falling into an abyss in an East game. That never happens. <laughs> wow. Uh, where am I? Wow. Wow. If you hadn't been so slow, we wouldn't be in this mess. You know what? She's right. <laughs> Although Tara also looked around. All confused like also. Just leave me alone. I don't even want your help anyway. Okay, just wander through. Oh my god. It's going to be one of these mission levels where I can't see. Yep. No surprise here. You don't listen too well, do you? Why did you even bother to help me anyway? We've caused nothing but trouble for you. That is true. I am asking myself this question right now, actually. I would have thought you would want us dead or something. What's the deal with you anyway? I've never seen any man who acts like you before. They've all been just like my brothers. I'm not supposed to trust any men, especially not strangers. Mom always told me that that's just how men are, and I should just accept it. Wow, you have mother of the year here. But you're nothing like that, and I don't get it. So... For now, at least, I guess I'll trust you. A little bit. I guess you won't get in my way. So how about we get out of here? It's never... <laughs> Damn it, Ghosty. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, Ghosty. I guess it's never easy. Anyway, let me get this out of my system. I'm going to go to get another soda and then we'll deal with some more exposition. And we'll be right back for what looks like it's going to be the conclusion of East 5 here. Uh, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. <laughs> my, my job is done. <laughs> oh, man. Ghosty for the win. <laughs> Goodness gracious.
as the sun sets here, we can uh, switch gears a little bit, open the window. There we go, it's nice outside. Uh, you know, I bet when I go back through this, when I replay that clip, we can actually see the moment that Seraph's brain breaks. <laughs> in there yeah, I'm actually thinking we might be getting pretty close to this I was originally gonna just uh, play this for a little bit and then raid out to Freakbot but uh, depending on how close to the end of the game we are uh, we might just push through this and, and just beat this thing I'll probably still raid out to Freakbot in a minute anyway but uh okay, good we are on so thank you for what you did for Terra I guess even soft-hearted fools have their uses eh ha <laughs> I'm just glad Terra's safe. You guys are welcome. Well, for now, we're headed off to the desert. Adol, we'll be waiting for you there. Thanks for everything. Don't be late now. Time is short, Adol. We have to get to the desert ruins as soon as we can. All right, well, we sort of remember the way there. Let's head back to the desert. Let's see if Seraph remembers the way. I still have to fight my way through all this shit? That would be lame. Let's at least save. Kitty kitty! Oh, hello kitty kitty! My good kitty kitty! Yes, let's save. Please. Yes. Do any of these... Any of these wandering merchants that are here want to sell me some more heal potions? That would be really nice. Oops. Mark, right back down. Of course, you could just... It's on the Traveler. Are you a Wandering Merchant? Of course, you could just raid out uh, to Freakbot. Let's see. Heal Potion. Yep. Three, four, five, six. Okay, wow, we used... We used six heal potions on Dorman the boss. Wow. That's actually a... That feels like a lot. Man, I must have really sucked at that. <laughs> well, I did. Because I was, I was figuring it out. If I had to do it again, I probably would still need to use a heal potion or two. But I don't think it'd be all that ridiculous. All right. So now we're back on the forest of plane. Of course, it doesn't let us really move around a lot. Yeah, it doesn't let us move around a lot at all. But we gotta go back to Kefin here. Okay, well, let's do it. I don't think there's an, a quick, fast way to do it. Because if we go this way, we're just gonna go to Felty, and Felty doesn't actually deliver us to, uh... We can't actually get to, um... Um... Place I'm actually looking to get to here. Uh, we can't get to the ruins from there, so... Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to... Right, that's where we ran into them. Well, although the p cool part about being here at the be beginning of the game is... We see how uh, far we've come here. Whoops. Damn it. Nice job, Seraph. I mean, I suppose we could go back to Felty and try to get back there, but I'm thinking we'll just go up this way. We have a pretty good idea of where, we're, where we need to go here. I think. At least I feel like we do. So if we keep going this way, we'll go to Messiah's house, which we don't need to go to. to go to her place at this point. We have her with us. <laughs> right. I'm going this way. It's odd. So we go through the Southwood up to the Lumberjack's place. I think we go 
down. Up. Let's see how much of this Seraph remembers. Interesting that they make you pretty much go through the entire game here. I mean, unless there is a shortcut and I just didn't know where to look for it. It's possible. I think we'll make pretty quick work of this. Oops. Nope. This way. Right. I wonder if you guys say different shit. Made it, made it all the way through the forest. That's pretty damn amazing. How'd you deal with all the monsters? I killed them. <laughs> if anyone could survive the rest of the way, I figured it'd have to be you. Yep. All right, so now we go back this way. And just like that, we're back in the jungle. Right? No. We're in the rams and plane first. We need to go north. We go through town. I think we go north of the town, don't we? Now we're back in Ramsen where we started this particular stream. Hey, how's it going? The rest of the guys are in the bar. I saw it with my own eyes. Right around dawn, a big ship was loaded up with some serious cargo. I saw Rize and a bunch of soldiers on board too. Wonder what they were transporting. It sure was huge, whatever it was. Yeah, it was all the fucking crystals. Uh, Alright, so it's not north of here. Now Seraph just has to remember which way to go. Uh. Was it east? No, because east is to this. Um, into these ruins. And we are... Oh, you know what? No, you know what? The ZB plane is where we are. Okay. Right? Oh, good grief. Seraph's having a really hard time remembering now which way to go. Because this is the way to the ruins. But the ruins are a dead end. We don't go through the ruins to get to the desert. We need to get to the jungle. I think we need to go through that platforming bullshit again. Because then we go through the cave. Ow. So, let's... I think we need to go through this way. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's try... Let's try going that way. It's a shame... Man, I wish there was an easier way to get there. No, we don't want to go to the woodcutter village. We do need to get up. We need, we need, oh. Right? Seraph's not crazy on that? Yep, okay. This is the way we need to go. Damn it. Still managed to hit me. Killed you, I'm gonna take the money for it. Even though at this stage, I don't even know if there's anything I need money for. Okay. Now it's time to deal with all this bullshit. That sucks. Let's 
I'll try not to do that again. Getting triggered with this music. <laughs> we gotta do this shit again. Alright. Yeah, let's record our adventure. Yeah, let's try it. Folks, Thunderburn magic. Full magic. Volcano magic. Dark oil magic. Let's try that. Yep, finish your animation so I can go back to this. What the hell, we'll do this one too. We'll give it a whirl. Okay. No, we can make that too, huh? Alright. We'll keep that though. Sure. This way at least we could experiment with it. I mean, it's silly to have all of those and not make anything out of them. Oh god, this shit again. But the jungle will be passed there. And if the magic sucks, we'll just do something else. Wasn't all that worried about that one this time. It's not like they do all that much damage to me. I don't really worry about taking damage. As long as it doesn't knock me off, I don't care. Let's find out what this does. Okay, well that's kind of cool. We'll take that. All right, Seraph's figured that out, finally. Hey, Crosshair, how are you? We're playing East 5. We're actually, I think, near the end of the game. I think we're really close to the end of the game. We just have to get back to uh, the lost city of Kefin here. We were in the ruins earlier today. We're, we're, get, we're making our way through it. Nope. Not today, Wizrobe. Not today. How's your weekend going so far? I was so sure we were going to have a fight there. <laughs> Granted, I was very pleasantly surprised not to have a fight there. So this way should lead us to the jungle. Right? This leads us to the jungle, yes? Yep, this leads us to the jungle. Okay. Now all we have to do is make our way back through here. Not if it's just, eh, you know, sometimes Twitch is like that. Sometimes they don't uh, always, they aren't always the best at notifying for some reason. I've had that happen to me in the past before too. Um, not sure what the solution to that is. What's going on here? How do I get up there? 
do I get up there? We made it up there before. We did make it up here before. But we can't jump up there. So what is Seraph doing? Seraph's gone the wrong way. Come on, let's go this way. But no worries here. Let's uh figure this out. Ah, this is where I'm supposed to go. Perfect. Around. And of course we could slip and fall. Then we have to do all that again. I'm not gonna save you, buddy. <laughs> You're still gonna die. Jack and Dexter. Nice. This way. This way. Oh. Got it that time. All right. So now we're back at Savat's hut. Wish you all the best on your journey. Grow strong and stay true. By the way, have you been keeping up with your adventures journal? Yes, record my adventure. Let's go this way. And so, uh, the first mention of Adol the Red was Saravat, right in here. So this has so far been the best contribution of this game to the whole series. I'm counting on you, Adol. Well, you still say the same thing. <laughs> As you did much earlier. Assuming Seraph didn't just miss a really obvious way to get back to the desert before. Hopefully I didn't miss a really easy shortcut back there. Uh, wait. This is what I needed. This is the right way to go, right? Oh god. Well, if, if it's not, I saved. If it's not, I saved. But I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Perfect. So now we can go back down here. Let's just check the weapon shop just to make sure they don't have anything new. Yep. Let's sell all that. Um, shield. Yeah, you just have a bunch of crap. That works. If we see an inn, we'll save there. I think it's right at near the end. Of, yeah, it should be this. Nope. So. Yep, here it is. Here's our inn. Can't wait to play Jack and Dexter on live stream. Yeah, that should be fun. Well, go in. Record. Yes. Record it is. So thank you, Saravat. Thanks to Saravat, we became at all the red in this game. <laughs> Need the Ramson plan. Oh no, we went back to Ramson. Oh no, we're back at Ramson. No. Oh, we're back at Ramson. Fuck. No. 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 Oh fuck! And I just saved too. God damn it! Did I go the wrong way? Did I go the wrong way? How do I get to Cuffin from here? We need to get to that sandstorm place. Um. <sighs> Maybe we do need to go back to Felty. Right? Do we need to go back to Felty? Maybe we do need to go back to Felty. Let's try going back to Felty. Maybe I am losing my mind. Let's try and go back to that other bridge and go across. Uh, I have to get an HDMI splitter. Just make no black screen on a gato. Sorry. I have to get an HDMI splitter just to get no black screen on a gato capture card. Uh, pro internal. Um. I 
maybe I don't have a whole lot of experience with capture cards, but um, I feel like you should be able to just do that with a setting. Yeah, I don't know why you would be getting a black screen on that, on that capture card, but an HDMI splitter will solve that problem? I mean, <laughs> modern problems require modern solutions, right? I, f I feel like that's like the story of uh, our lives sometimes. Yeah, yeah, let's just get the hell out of here. That's the only problem with no fast travel when the map is not the most intuitive of things to uh, navigate. But well, let's go back this way. All right, so let's double, let's backtrack. Maybe I'll go across the stupid bridge. I mean, it's not like we're even getting appreciable. Uh, yeah, I've got a PS5. I do indeed have a PS5. Yeah, if I stream on that, there's a uh, there's a Sony application, Remote Play, that allows you to play on your PS5 on a local network uh, from your computer, and I pro I'll probably just do that and see how it goes. But I have seriously thought about just getting a capture card and just connecting my PS5 directly to my computer. I'm sure that would be the best... I'm sure that would be the actual best play experience, because then I don't have to worry about network latency or anything else like that. That's what worries me about the remote plays. I would definitely introduce, um, you know, network congestion and, uh, and a little bit of latency with regard to that. Oh, shit. I went the wrong way. I think if I go up here. Wait. How do I... I do remember getting confused by this. I think I can get up. Nope. Can't. Crap. To bypass HDCP. Let's see. Where am I going? I feel like I should be able to get over there. All right, well. That's bullshit. Fine, you could die. Um, so I know I get up here to get up here, but I think this is how we get to the woodcutter's place, not to uh, Xandria. We want to get to Xandria. I want to get to Xandria. I don't want to be here. I feel like I should be able to... Thank you. I don't know why it wouldn't let me jump up here before. Man. That... Yeah. More... More jankiness with this game. It definitely needed a little bit more QA. That's alright. Once this... Once we're done with this game... Boy... The rest of these games are so much fun. It's going to make up for the slog that this has been a little bit. And at least now we could say we completed all of them. I actually am still, for that purpose, glad I, I played this. It's, um... Oh, shit. Went back to the Southwood here. Nope. Going this way. I think we're going this way. I'm gonna go down. Nope, we're going this way. Yeah, I guess that's gonna be... That's gonna be a problem I'm gonna end up having if I want to connect my PS5 to, uh directly to my PC, which I would like to do. But yeah, I'm going to try and remote play first, just to see how that works. Because if that's good enough, then I don't have to worry about buying the, the capture card or... Um... Okay, so we're back on forest to plane. Let's continue east, see if we get to that bridge, since we went this way anyway. So we went all this way anyway, since we had backtracked from uh, the jungle really thought the jungle was where we wanted to be. Ugh. And the and the map they give you really sucks. <laughs> the map they give you is terrible. <laughs> like, I don't even... like. Look at this shit. Why do they even bother giving you this map? This, this map is garbage. But anyway. So let's try crossing the bridge that's been repaired. Let's go back this way. I don't think... I didn't think this was the way we needed to go. But, uh... Let's try... Oh, come on, guys. 
let's try going back this way. Wait, what was that? No, 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 no. Oh, come on. I wasn't even in line with it. Yeah, yeah. What a really? It spits me out and puts me right back in? Yeah, not a big fan of that shit. Merchant Camp Xandria Plain. Okay, yeah, let's just go back up to the wilderness. We don't need to go to the Merchant Camp. So we go... This way. You know what? This was the way. Damn it. And we were just at Exandria, too. This would have been so much easier. Serve some moron. Oh, come on. I hate how it spits you out and immediately sucks you back in. It's like, if you if you do it once, like, just once. No. Ah. Stop it. Regenerate our health a little bit here. As long as that thing minds its own business up there, we should be fine. Nope. Damn it. Nope, 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 nope. I was trying to get a soda, guys. <laughs> uh, wait, which way am I going? Maybe I'm going this way. Oh, I'm going this way. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, okay, there's Felty. Ah, okay. Here we go. Okay. More story. Okay, we finally went the right way. I don't know why I thought we had to go around that other way. Let's see, how much time did I waste trying to find the right way? Probably a good half hour. <laughs> Whoops. That's alright. No, by the stone. Look what's happened to Felty! Whoa, the whole town got buried by sand. Holy shit. And the Phantom City hasn't even been restored yet. Is this what's awaits is this what awaits us all if the seal is broken? Uh so yeah, I just need the HDMI splitter to buy to pass HDCP on PS3. I have a PS3 too. Um and there are a couple of games that are on PS3 that aren't really on a lot of platforms. So that's another incentive for me to get a capture. I'm sure it's the same conversation you've had with yourself of, um, well, if I get, the, even if I get like remote play working on the PS5, that still doesn't help me for my PS3 games. And that there are, a, there are two in particular that I would really like to stream on PS3. So yeah, my options are pretty limited there, but I still think I'm going to try the remote play option. Just see if it's passable, because if I could get away with not install, opening my computer and putting a capture card in there, I think I'd rather err on that side, but then again, the um, the capture card experience would be better, and then I could just hook up, put hook up any kind of consoles to it and play on real hardware from my PC, which I think would be really nice. So I think I think you're onto something there. Uh, I'm curious to see how it works out. If you get it working and um, and whatnot, I'd I'd love to know the details. Is this what awaits us all if the seal's broken? Oh, I already read that. Sorry. At all. You have to get to the Phantom City and do something soon, or else. Uh, all of the other towns and villages, maybe even the entire world, will meet the same fate as Felty has. Alright. Wow. Yep. Well, this town's, uh, boned. <laughs> oh, look at that. Get in here. <laughs> hey, we remember this door. That was why they put that door here. <laughs> our lives, our homes, all lost under the sands. I mean, just dig it out, man. Felty is done for. It's not. Just dig out the sand, guys. Like, this is not a big deal. Everything's been buried. All of it. I mean, yeah, it's annoying, but it's not catastrophic. I mean, as long as, you know, the source of the sand is over. This is terrible. What in the world could have happened? Sand services started to kick up across the desert. Something's happening out there. Yep. All right. What should we do, Adol? Trouble saving him. Yep. Gems. Let's sell these. We still don't have anything particularly good. Ooh, I can buy that life drop now, can I? Fully restores on death. Yes. I can only carry one. That's... But yeah, we'll keep that just in case I screw up. Record. 
All right, there we go. Oh, no. oh right, it's underground. <laughs> we have to leave through this way. Nice job, Seraph. Ah, yeah, you got the backwards compatible one. That was my first PS3. Uh, my first PS3 could play PS2 and PS1 games, and boy, did I have a really nice library of games to play on that system. I missed that PS3. It died, and that was sort of the end of it. Quickly, let's get to the Oasis so that we can reach the Phantom City. There's no telling what awaits us once we cross over. Are you ready, Adol? Yep. Point of no return. Let's do this. Is this it? This is the gate that leads to Keffin? Yes. Before the seal was put in place, it was the front gate to the capital. Tales of this place and of the medallion have been passed down through my family. If the medallion and, uh, I have were properly used, I think it could open the way. Let's do this. Well, it certainly looks like the other gate. It seems I was right. The gate's now open. About time, too. All right, let's get going, you lot. Mom, wait up! Yeah, my PS3 Slim has lasted much longer than my original PS3 did. Let's go. I should have kept my original PS3 and probably tried to bring it to an electronic store or some sort of repair place, because I definitely preferred that one to the, to the Slim that is not backwards compatible. Come on, Adol. We should go as well. Uh, yeah, that was the point. <laughs> it's just gonna lead me in. All right. All right, to the Phantom City we go. And so Adol, Masia, and the Iber Gang cross the threshold into Keffin. I'm guessing it's a good thing I stocked up on all sorts of items before I showed up here. Oh, and we got a couple of guards waiting for us. Oh, someone from the physical world passed through the gate. We better inform Lady Rize of this. Uh, or we could stop you before you ever leave, if we're smart. <laughs> Don't try anything funny. Looks like everyone's okay, thank goodness. So this is the Phantom City. It's gorgeous. I can practically smell the treasure everywhere, Mom. Yeah, looks like we got our work cut out for us. All right, let's get moving. Yeah, and these soldiers just let us go. Oh wait, we're not here for treasure. We have to find Nienna. Ah, oh, they're gone. Well, Adol, let's go look for Nienna ourselves. She must be here in the city somewhere with Rize and the others. Please be careful. This place feels different from our world. Am I going to have to fight the... These, li these guys just literally say, don't try anything funny, and let me go? <laughs> okay, then. All right, so there's a doorway there. All right, so now we're in Keffin, huh? Well, that way doesn't lead anywhere. So we got a couple options. We could go this way, or we could go up that way. I guess we'll find out. That lady leads there. East area. Okay, so this is East area. What's this? I guess it doesn't really matter. They look the same to me. Underground. Oh, we got more of these types of things. Oh, I hate these things so much. As long as I'm good with my hidden door. that won't open. Awesome. That enemy already respawned. Okay. Let's go up this way. Let's see what the story is up here. Oh, this is the way I came down. Shit. Alright, so let's go down this other way. Oh. It looked the same, but it wasn't. Alright, so we got a switch room here. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Won't open. You need a key. 
Okay. So that looks pretty advanced for a dead civilization. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to need to track down a key, and that's going to do some sort of switch. This way. Not liking the fact that so many of the rooms look all exactly alike. And that I haven't found a save point. Not great that there's no save point down here. So I can't just save, I need an in. Here. Well, this looks like a water canal. It's not an East game unless there's a water canal. Although we already did the water canal. Okay, so we came down through that way, so I could either go up those stairs. Wow, we got a lot of options here. Okay. Wow, we've got a lot of options. Okay. Okay, Seraph, try not to get lost. So we came down through that way. This is going to lead up probably to another switch room that I don't have a key for. gonna need a key for that. How do you get up? Oh, I see how you're supposed to do this. Think I see how you're supposed to do this? No. How the fudge are you supposed to do this? Oh. Hey, uh, Seraph, why don't you just overshot the overshoot the jump? It's cool. take better armor. Yep, alright, so I'm gonna need two keys. Let's see what the story is with this. Have I ever played Army of Two? Mm, I'm not familiar with it, actually. So no, I, I, I'm sorry. I have not played that game. <laughs> Whoa, that is much better armor. Yes, please and thank you. Probably tells me that we're going to get a better sword and a better shield around here, too. In case. Yeah, since we've got badass armor. Let's do that. Hell yeah. Haha. <laughs> okay. Okay, chat. This is where Seraph gets super lost. It's time. Because you can already tell the Keffin ruins are going to be a gigantic clusterfuck of, uh, Oh, I found a fire element. Well, that'll be nice. Okay, I gotta find Masaya again, and she can craft me more Fluxstone. South Tower here. Uh, hey guys, what's up? Forget it, only authorized personnel are allowed around here. Beat it, they make you leave. Okay, fine. Let's go in here. So the south tower is ultimately where I'm gonna wanna go. Oh, fucking man. I hate these things. They're super annoying. Let's head up this way. All right, we got another switch room. Yep, it's just a switch room. All right, so my main issue is at this point I'm starting to get hungry. And I would like to wind down, but I also don't want to lose the progress I've just made. So I 
You need to find a place to save. Oh my goodness gracious. Ow. There are just so many of these assholes. Think about it. Alright, so right, okay, so that's how I lead okay, so that's that's what leads down here. Okay. Okay, that's starting to make a little more sense. Let's go up this way. An actual city. Well, that's interesting. It's the city of Kefin. You don't look like you're from around here. I wasn't expecting to see an actual city here. What the fuck? Good news is there'll be an inn. We can save. It's almost time for the judgment of fate. Every time we hear the sound of that bell, it means major trouble. I'm scared. Yeah, you know what? Let's save because I get the sense we're, we're in for a lot here. Welcome. We can record your adventure for you. Yeah, let's record. <laughs> Let's record and let's wind down here. Uh, I think that's a good plan. We've now saved at Little Kefin. Thank goodness. Um, looks like we'll be able to just grab better equipment and whatnot from treasure chests. But yeah, um, if this is like any other East game, we might be at the quote end area, but like Solomon Shrine in East 2 <laughs> is the end area. And it's like half of the game. <laughs> so I don't think the actual city of Kefin is going to be that kind of crazy mega dungeon. But um, yeah, the last areas, especially of these early East games, have, uh, have proven to be longer than I had anticipated. And so I think this is a good place for us to put a pin in this. We're going to come back. I, I did save, right? Let me just make sure I save. I just make sure it's I did, right? Yep, that is weird to see Kef in there, but okay. Yep, we did in fact save. So perfect. Come again. Alright. So let's uh assuming Freakbot's running. <laughs> yeah, Dark Fact is bullshit in uh, in East One, the revised one. So Dark Fact in the original East One, in my opinion's not so bad. But uh they definitely gave him a little bit of an upgrade for East Chronicles. So if you're playing that version. Who boy is he fun? <laughs> uh, now, um, just to be sure, so I'm doing this on my stream, and we've already played East Book One and Two, so this is not a spoiler. But you did equip the silver equipment, correct, Nade? Because you can't even injure him unless you've downgraded to the silver equipment. But assuming you have, yeah, assuming you have, he's still a doozy. But yeah, if you don't equip the silver equipment, he's literally impossible. There's also a frame rate bug. Uh, there's also a frame rate bug sometimes on Dark Fact, and so if you're playing on a screen that's higher than 60, he also potentially is impossible. Uh, so you may have to set the frame rate manually to 60, uh, and then he becomes a little more manageable as well. Um, so I got him from about halfway down. Yeah, it's also weird because I like the fire stuff. But you only get to use it for a short time. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's weird. Because I, I like the fire stuff, but you only get to use it for a short time. Kind of about halfway down. Yeah, he's a, he's a tough one. He, he is tough. Uh, they definitely decided, you know what? Dark Fact was just two flame equipment. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the flame equipment. Yeah, you're, you're just, yeah, it's like, I think it's the battle sword and all that. But yeah, it looks like flame stuff. So, uh, yeah, yeah, East, East one is a, is a doozy on the Chronicles version. <laughs> yeah, we played, we played East book one and two on stream, uh, earlier, much earlier. And that, uh, that was, um, that was, that was fun. But yeah, you're, if you're playing the Chronicles version, you're definitely gonna have a harder time than playing the 1990 version for the turbo graphics that we did. Although, um, You'll still have a hard time with the bat monster. Again, Falcom, for the most part, just did a graphical facelift of it. 
it's almost note for note the same exact game. The only difference is in East 1 and 2 Chronicles, uh, some of the towns are a little expanded upon. And in the case of East 1, there's the port town of Barbados that's literally added. Whereas in the Turbo Graphics version, you'll only have Mania Town. And the Chronicles version does add a few scenes here or there to make the story make a little bit more sense. I really like the Chronicles version, but at the same time, yeah, Dark Fact is hard. Dark Fact is hard. I wish you luck. You'll eventually get him. But but he is he is a he is a bastard. He is an absolute bastard, especially with those fireballs that come in out of nowhere. Like he's already hard enough with him flying all over the place and throwing projectiles at you, having those like meteor fireballs that also come in and just wreck your shit. It sucks. And the fact that you're level capped at 10 means you can't even like level up to to make it easier you you get in that position of like yeah he's hard and there's really not a whole lot you could do to mitigate it so in any event let's wind this down uh let us get our raid on here i bet right about now freakbot is getting started with devil may cry and if we have set this up well he should have just started yep it looks like he did just start so this will be perfect my plan will be to stream tomorrow, and I may stream the end of East 5. I might do the conclusion of that tomorrow. Uh, I will see if that actually comes to pass or not, because I might, uh, depending on my mood, I might just stream a little bit of Mech Warrior 5 tomorrow night instead. But I'm, I'm like 80%, 20% leaning in favor of finishing off East 5 tomorrow night. I'm thinking that's going to be the plan, because I am really excited to get started and get uh, things ready for e6 e6 is a great game it'll be really fun and uh oh kara's playing too uh kara jitsu's playing what's what's he doing oh he's playing doom he's not playing doom eternal but yeah let's we we we, we committed to raiding freakbot here let's do that so we're gonna get this thing set up in the meantime i hope everybody you have a great rest of your weekend and you know how it goes uh, with my whole little sign-off spiel. Uh, if I don't see you tomorrow, I hope you have an amazing weekend, and I will see you all approximately later. And for everybody else hanging me out with uh, Freakbot, I'll talk to you in a couple of minutes. In the meantime, until next time, chiyo! Oh, now it's going to do it. Okay, fine. Or, or just prep. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, Twitch. Make this awkward. Make this awkward. It's not awkward. It's totally.